Hello! Hi there, everybody. Uh, let me run down the list really quick. Hello, Magashisama, and thank you for the host. Hello, Theo. Hello, a wholesome hamster. Algae, hello. Trapshot, hello. DJ, hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, okay. Um, so I had started a little early today because my son is over, and I might... Uh, the stream might be a little shorter than normal for that reason, and my headache is back today, unfortunately. I just took some Advil for it, like, literally, like, ten minutes ago. So, if it kicks in, we'll see how we, how I feel. Um, maybe we can go for, like, four hours or whatever. Yeah, I was trying to get my son to actually play some of these games with me, and he uh, politely declined. <laughs> he's like, so wait, you just play bad games? I'm like, yeah, and he's like, pass. <laughs> Alemzy, hello. Uh, it's good to see y'all. I hope you guys all had a good week. Um, I had the day off work, thankfully, today. I don't know how well I would have been performing at work with my my headache and everything. But yeah, so um, Wednesday, Wednesday, I actually finally beat Elder Scrolls Arena. Um, it was a very long journey. Uh, we went we uh, thousands of chat members died <laughs> um and we beat it permadeath with uh quebbers quebbers finally made it to the end we got all the way there and um we killed the last boss there was a there was like a final thing we had to click on so i clicked on the final thing we got a a black screen and that was it <laughs> So we didn't even get like the end credits or anything. Hey there, Gally. How you doing? Got back from having your wisdom tooth out, had big time anxiety, and now numb face. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope that the garbage day can bring you a little a little fun and entertainment and maybe some relief. Uh hey itinerant soldier, it's good to see you too. So yeah, it was a good ending. It was just a black screen. Um so we ended up watching the ending on YouTube, and I don't know if the ending was really worth it. It was just kind of fine for a DOS game, you know? Hey there, Captain Cork. How's it going? Uh, okay, but today, since it's garbage day, we have our second mystery console. Um, I'm holding it in my hands right now, the whole console in my hands, if that gives you a little tip. So, without further ado, let's say, I, since I might not have tons and tons of time, we'll we'll just get this kicked off right now and unveil the uh, mystery console for this month, for this garbage day. Mystery console number two is... Uh, what button is it? It's this one. It's the My Arcade Plug and Play TV Game Console. Uh, the description reads as follows. The plug and play controller comes with 220 built-in games, requires no game console, despite having the name game console in the name of the console, and connects to a TV with AV inputs. Enjoy hours of fun gaming just about anywhere, and this time, we have some reviews. Here's our first review. Boring. This is awful quality, more like 1960 video games. Is newborn simple boring? <laughs> the next review uh, is games are stupid, dumb, D-U-M, no fun, and games no one wants. The games are stupid, dumb, no fun, and games no one wants. I mean, that just the whole, the, the subject summarizes the review pretty well. Uh, the next review is I want a full refund, not half. This company tried it. Do not buy this game. It's horrible. It's from the 1800s. <laughs> and finally, uh, finally, the final review is the chord is very short. The chord is very short, so you have to sit very close to your TV. It was not compatible to my TV, so I didn't even get to use it three stars <laughs> and I'll tell you right now this this chord is not short this is a, actually a long chord um, as far as the the console itself okay so you've got a picture of it there it's kind of like a very uncomfortable N64 controller missing the centerpiece 
But the blue thing is the puzzling part. The blue, uh, see the blue orb thing on the left? It does nothing. It's like, it's just a piece of plastic sitting there. <laughs> it doesn't even light up or anything. It does absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just for decoration, I guess. And I have to say, holding this thing uh, is, it's very uncomfortable. It's, it's not comfortable at all to hold. It's very awkward and it's the plastic. I'm gonna tap it, you ready? It's just very hard plastic. Um, there's nothing comfortable about it. It's not ergonomic. The buttons are in weird places. The D-pad, if you can see it there, is awful. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Uh, so yeah, the best thing I can say about the console itself there are two things. The power button is on it, so it's not just always on. You can flip it on and off. The other thing is it has a reset button, so I don't have to turn it on and off like the last one. And I guess here's another bonus. Here's another bonus for this console is the third thing. It, you, it, you can put batteries in it, okay, if you want, but it also has a USB port at the end that I'm afraid is gonna catch my house on fire. Uh, that you can also power it with. So <laughs> that's what we're going with. No batteries today. Uh, so yeah, this is the My Arcade plug and play TV game console, and I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, it looks like I might be dropping some frames here uh, with this. <laughs> so I'll turn it on. Let's go. I gotta do like this. And then like, oh yeah, we got some new box art too. We got uh, Lady Cat, G-Force, and PGH Pin Fan all on there. Um, and I'm gonna turn on the Elgato. This is what I've been looking at for like 10 minutes. It, yeah, we do have a fire extinguisher um, and I'm gonna actually turn it on so that we can all experience this together. Uh, here we go, it's, it's now turned on. And there it is. You guys should have some wonderful music going on in the background. It looks a little quiet. It's the 220 in one. We've got a train with a crazy face. Uh, I'll, oh, I can't, I can't. That's as far as I can turn it up. <laughs> yeah, we have a Pinocchio train. And for those of you that were here for the last, that even got auto modded, Alimsy. You can't even say that. <laughs> you guys are all getting auto modded. Uh, here, let me allow all these. <laughs> Uh, some of these games are actually duplicates of games on the last Family Pocket console. So we're going to do the same thing that we did last time and just people shout out and chat like everybody just did and got auto modded for. Uh, it looks like everybody wants to try Primitive Man and Primitive Woman. So <laughs> why is the train Pinocchio? I don't know. Uh, it looks... That's like, imagine seeing that in a nightmare, right? <laughs> but okay, we'll try our first game on the 220 plug and play. We'll, we'll be Primitive Man. Oh, I hit the wrong button apparently. Hold on. Uh, it's, maybe it's start. Start. Okay, here we go. Primitive Man. Primitive Man. <laughs> Everybody, it's a gray screen. <laughs> Primitive indeed. Uh, gray screen, primitive man. We'll try one more time. Yep. <laughs> back in back in uh, the olden days, the screens were just gray. Hopefully, uh, primitive woman is a little better. Let's see, primitive woman. Here we go. Primitive woman works. That is a very primitive woman. Power Joy Limited. We're gonna start it up. Can you guys even hear it? It looks extremely quiet. Can you guys hear it at all? Uh, I can boost the... You guys can hear it? I can boost it a little bit. Uh, if you guys just remind me to like... I don't even know what it's at right now. Like, we'll do like five decibels. Is that better? Is that a little better? I can barely hear it. Uh, so I gotta turn up my TV. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
It's a little better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Sorry. This is taking forever. All right. Start. All right. There we are. Okay. Our nose jiggles. Oh my God. Okay. You move. <laughs> we can duck. Oh, the screen doesn't go back though. If you duck, <laughs> we can jump and also jump. Oh, we can, we can punch too. Uh, yep. Okay. It's just jump and punch. All right. We haven't encountered an enemy yet. We move it. Oh, it's a squirrel. All right. The art style looks familiar. There's a game. I think it's called like Bigfoot or something like that. I don't remember what system. Yeah, it does look like Andy Cap. Actually, you're right. Are those. Oh, I shot something. Oh, I'm shooting things. Okay. The squirrels are cute. All right. Nice jumps. Big jumps. I think I shot a projectile that was invisible there. It's, it's actually, it's, it's quite bad, but it's a game, right? Like it's not. Okay. That was good. It's like, I could see this on like the NES or something like just, a, it's just terrible though. <laughs> Here we go. What console is this on? I will do the, I will show off the mystery console again in just a minute. Once I finish this game, Thunderfist for you. Whoa. Oh, okay. Is there fall damage? Is that why I died? I jumped too high. Okay. Let's. Oh, what? I'm skiing. <laughs> All right, I'll show this for Thunderfist really quick. We just we just introduced the game. Uh, it was the My Arcade Plug and Play TV game console. That's what we're that's what we're trying out today. <laughs> do we really do we want to continue with Primitive Woman? Uh, I think we got. I think we I think we've seen enough Primitive Woman. There are so many games on this thing. Uh, let's let's see what else we've got. Mahjong, Dive Man, Frontline Gallop, F22, Racing Fighter, Wonder Rabbit, Seething, Aether Mission, Magic Joni again. So, uh, like I said, there is so, there are some repeats. You want to see Seething Trap Shot? We'll do Seething. Oh gosh darn it! I keep hitting the wrong button though. Seething. I have to hit Start. Seething. Here we go. Uh, this game, maybe it, that's the feeling that it gives you. Oh, you just are seething with rage when you play it. Oh, uh, what is the game? This actually, oh, what are the buttons here? Can I jump? Uh, it's like, what is it? Like bump and jump? A spy hunter? There's one that's like, this is pretty bad though. You can't jump. Uh, he just rear-ended that guy. Okay, you jump by going over the things. You can't shoot. Oh, Lord. And you can speed up. The cars are about five times bigger than the houses in this world. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've hit the... Oh, there we go. It kind of, in a way, like, in a, in a weird way... Oh, that's a rock. Bump and jump looks more like crash and cry. Oh, can, we can. Uh, we can just come to it like a complete stop. Wow, I love it when the AI kills themselves. You like it's just like don't go fast in this game. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can see why it's called seething. It's pretty terrible. Oh, it's a log. I thought that was a power up. Time out. <laughs> We've got a nice timeout. Uh, okay. Reset. Oh, no, I hit start. This, the reset and the start are right next to each other. Um, dejectile. Okay, we have Atlantic fishing as well. Dejectile, difference, falling blocks, faded pirate. Final shot in fairy's treasure. I saw itinerant soldier say um, dejectile, so let's check this out. Look at that walk. -in. That, that is a flawless... Uh, animation loop right there. Oh, I think we tried this on the last one. It's like Bomberman. Uh, but way worse. 
All right, let's kill this guy. Yeah, it's basically, it's bad Bomberman. Or good Bomberman, depending on how you feel about Bomberman. If I remember right, the AI is, like, extremely smart in this. Like, look at that. And you can't kill them. They just, they, like, juke your bombs. Look, do you see that? They're, like, uber smart. Oh, there are people that don't like Bomberman. I don't have a ton of experience with Bomberman myself. Uh, I know that I played it. I played one of the games on when we did like Turbo Graphics variety. Uh, yeah, it was like Bomberman '93, I think. I bet you we can't even kill this guy in here. Look! Look! <laughs> you can't kill him. They're too smart. You love Bomberman, Gally? I hope you feel better soon, Gally. I want to see what happens when we die. Not much. <laughs> Playing Bomberman against a friend is amazing. It will end your friendship. My son and I played Mario Party, the latest one on the Switch today. I oh my god, I actually killed an enemy. We won the whole game. Uh... He, he just crushed he crushed me. I didn't get a single star. I think that the game was rigged from the start though I didn't I didn't get a single star the whole game. I Don't see like an exit If I was gonna be late today, um, I, I decided to start a little early itinerant soldier so that he and I What we plan on doing later on is we're gonna play. Oh, what have I done? We're going to play The Hunt, or Hunt Showdown, if anybody's ever played that. We played one round of it yesterday, and we actually won, which was pretty fun. Uh, it's very intense. It's like, oh my god, like, very atmospheric um, game. All right, that's enough of this one. Dejectile dysfunction. Uh, falling Blocks, I saw. Falling Blocks. This one's got cute music. It's Tetris. Is, am I playing against somebody on the other side there? How would you even play two players on this console? There's only one controller. <laughs> what? How would that work? Does somebody get to use the blue nub? Oh, whoa, this is a weird piece. Ah. Uh... One, you get single blocks in this? Look at that perfect perfection. They, they, they just, it just fits. Weird blocks. It's kind of interesting though. Oh, it's going faster. You can't spin the pieces when they're against the wall. It doesn't let you. I want to I want to get a Tetris or whatever falling block dress. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Here we go. There I maybe there aren't any straight blocks in this game. Or maybe it's once again a case of the game being way too smart. Uh and knowing that's what I want. I mean, okay, give me a straight. A lot, I, I haven't seen a single one, so maybe they don't exist in this game. Oh, maybe we'll die before we get a single line. Let's go for a twofer, I guess. We'll get a twofer. Wow! <laughs> Look, the thing in the middle starts, oh my God, it looks evil. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Watch now, it'll give me one, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, it doesn't, it, oh no, now we're doomed. We've doomed ourselves. We're dead. We'll never recover from this. It's just bad Tetris. I mean, <laughs> It's no Power Glove Tetris, that's for sure. Look at this. All right, what happens when we lose? 
game over. And then it just sits there forever. I'm pushing all the buttons. I guess you can't play again even if you want to. I don't know who would want to, though. <laughs> Hopefully this one doesn't overheat and completely die. Uh, okay, contest. Danger Bridge. I remember we played that. Crystal Blast, Fling Ball, Crazy Eights, Cookies Labyrinth, Climbing, Fruit, Fruit Gift. <laughs> Is this the one that had the really cute pig? No, it's got a caveman. Wow, maybe this is primitive man. What? What do I do? One, okay. Do I match the fruit? It's grapes. Okay, there's grapes. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm killing this game right now. I can match my fruit shapes like nobody's business. Give me bad Tetris and uh, I'm a huge loser, but show me some fruit. I, I'll, 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 I'll win it every time. Do I have to keep matching? Where's the gr Oh, I can, I can, I change the fruit. Okay. I'm in control of the fruit. Oh, we need this thing no oh you can't go back oh no okay we need one of these what is this <laughs> oh and it switched sides on me too i was watching the wrong side it's actually it's throwing a curveball at me and i'm failing a tangerine okay we need an apple it will we'll win this game What a pleasant sound. <laughs> and then it's just more of the same. Okay, fruit gift. <laughs> Good game. One of the best so far. Uh, I matched my fruit. Wonder Ball, Ghost Castle, Gin Rummy, Water Pipes, Go Fish, Golden Bird, Robot Tank, Hammer and Nail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out Hammer and Nail. Hammer and Nail, okay. Stage one. Okay, you just chase around nails as a hammer. Or wait, do I have to get them on the X's? Oh, I pounded a nail into another nail. Oh, you get bonus points for pounding them in on that. You don't get anything for... Come on. This game is bad. Look, they're not gonna come over here. Here, I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. Awful. <laughs> Alemzi wants to see go fish after this. Like, what am I supposed to do to get him up there? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> we got one. Oh, I, mi <sighs> I missed. All right. Let's try go fish. Reset. Where's go fish? Here it is. Go fish. Oh, we have beer bottles next to our names. You, this is a four-player game. But again, how do you play multiple players on this when there's only one controller? It's just the console. Uh, start. Five. Eight. All right. Oh, and look. There are fish in Go Fish. 10, 10. 10. Go. <laughs> go fish 32. What? What do I do? Do you have any queen? Do you have any of these? Queens? You? Oh my god, he did. Do you have any jacks? Y you? Go fish. 31. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Can we vote? Hey, G-Force. G-Force, you have box art now. I gotta show G-Force's box art. Look, there you are right there. Do you see what that is? Do you see what's on your box art, G-Force? Can you guess what that is? Can you guess why that's on there? 
<laughs> All right, let's get out of this. Let's go fish. Uh, Happy Match, Candy Workshop, High Jump, Ice Ocean, Vigilant Island, Bug Catcher, Planet Race. Uh, if you guys see any of these that you wanna that you wanna really have me play, then be sure to type it in chat. Uh, Toy Factory, Toad in a Hole, we did in the last console. Uh, is High Jump just the one from Summer Games? We'll try it, Algy. We'll try it right now. High Jump, first try. Here we go. Speed. Okay, we pound the button. Oh, okay. We. I think we have to jump there. This looks pretty good, actually, all things considered. I jumped, though. Uh, <laughs> I jump more like no jump. I'm pressing the buttons. <laughs> what button is the jump? All they, all they do is just they... Oh, do I... I hit up. Oh, we broke his back. It's up. Okay. We have to hit up. Here we go. All the speed... Oh, we were running at 1,347 centimeters per second. Who tells, who measures speed in centimeters per second? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, that was excellent. Centipedes, I guess maybe. Oh, we're getting good now. We're getting real good. Come on, we need more, we need more speed. Okay, I win. Is this the computer? Is it me? I'm just, am I competing against myself? Why is it never the computer's turn? <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> it's the same thing over and over and over again. That was high jump. Uh, Flip Flops, did you say a game? What was the game that Flip Flops just said? It's off my bug catcher, I think she said. Bug, wow, look at that. It's like the derpiest Pokemon you'll ever see. Bug catcher. Stage one. Oh my God. Oh my god, okay. What's happening to me? I lost? I caught a bug! What is the, a bird? Can we eat the bird? I guess we only want the yellow bugs. <laughs> the bird is such lifelike physics. Can we open our mouth? None of the buttons do anything except for the D-pad. And? We've won. <laughs> oh, now we're green, so I guess we only catch the green ones. What is that? It's like a void turd. It was an extra life. Oh no, it was, it was a kill me instantly. All right, come on. Where's the green ones? This is pretty terrible. The graphics are bad. I feel like those trees are ripped from Bayou Billy. <laughs> That's what I think they're from. Okay, bug catcher. We, we certainly caught some bugs. Uh, what else did we have up here? Toy Factory, Toad in the Hole we did, Through Man we did, Brother Ball, Blocks World, Bicycle. <laughs> Do we ride a bicycle in Bicycle? Oh, we did this one! No! It, oh, wait! Yes, we do, but it's like... <laughs> We're like Rad Racer, but like nerd. We're like Nerd Racer. I, I. 
You okay? You just hold the button down. I want to see this guy wipe it on his bicycle. Are there? What is this? Is it a car? Is it another cyclist? Can we kick him? He seems to be. Oh, oh! We have a high gear. I didn't even notice that. Oh, ouch! Here we go. Game over. <laughs> That's actually, I, that one's not bad. It's a total ripoff of, you know, other racing games, but, uh, yeah. I saw a Benthal World. What is Benthal? What even is Benthal? Whoops, 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 wrong button. Sorry. Uh, Benthal World. Gotta hit start. Presents. No one presents. Benthal World. Oh, we did this one. It's like a it's like a weird Tetris game. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, this one was kind of neat. I it's got a really weird name though. The cooling taste of Benthal makes it smooth. How you doing, twenty three koalas? This took forever to play last time. If you have about a thousand years to sit here and play in a kind of interesting Tetris game, uh, be sure to try Benthal World. I remember thinking that this was like one of the better games on the uh, Family Pocket. But like I said, it takes like a thousand years to play it. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do like one of these. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I jumped the gun. All right, we're, we, we've got somewhat of a recovery here. Some, some form of recovery going. All right, that's perfect. And we just need the opposite of one of those. Here we go. Oh, no, that's not the right one. See, and you get these weird shapes that you have to put it into. Uh, that's not what we want to do, is it? Uh, I don't have a good place for this. Oh, we've got some, some, some bad stuff happening down there. We really need the other like five of the other piece <laughs> there okay is that the song where it's like there's a place in France where the naked ladies dance isn't that <laughs> isn't that this song okay finally they've given us the piece we wanted Two of them, even. All right, now. Oh, wait, this is a bad move. That's better. We got to try to clear a block. Uh, okay, let's try to zoom this one in here. Okay, nice job. I don't know what we're gonna just put garbage down here. Okay, our first line ever. Nice. <laughs> How satisfying. This is like seriously on the other console. This was like one of the few games actually worth playing. Kind of cool. So I'm a big fat liar because not every single one of the games is pure garbage. It's still pretty bad. I mean, but this one is actually decent. Benthal World. Remember everybody, remember the name. Benthal World's pretty good. Uh, okay. What do we have now? Balloon Shoot, Submarine, Galagant, Spring World, Animal Contest was, I don't even know what the heck happened there uh, when we played that last time. Solitaire, Galagant, Alemzi wants Galagant. We're doing Galagant. All right, Galagant it is.
All right, we're stage one. Oh, okay. We're some kind of machine shooting at miniature planes. Not, it's, it's not too bad. Raspy Doo wants Galagant too. Oh, we got shot. This one's not too bad. Oh. Yeah, the planes are super tiny. Well, the music. <laughs> Man, those green planes are really good. Wait. Shares in PowerJoy triple today as Quebs Labs released their new console. Over almost 30 people watched the premiere of the games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Galagant. Galagant. Hey, what's up? Eat it up. Happy Friday. Benthal World, best game so far. Uh, what else do we have? Sea Maid. Road Worker. <laughs> Cowpoke. Hearts. Animal Blocks. Rabbit Village. Hurry Burry. And Rudder. <laughs> Road Worker. I think we played this one last time. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. Stage one. Here we go, road worker. Yeah, we did. Oh, we gotta repair the road, but which one will we use? Hey, guessed it right. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got a corner. <laughs> what do we do? Is this a bridge? Bridge. Uh, bulldozer. Oh, and we need to repair it. Guess the tile. <laughs> There we did, we, it's true to its name, right? It's, you are a road worker. You're just going in repairing roads. I like how only the back wheel seems to be spinning. I'm the best, I was made for this, Algy. You only have 58 seconds to fix the whole road. What happens if you guess wrong? Like, what if I guess the bulldozer for this? Wrong! <laughs> You are correct. I was completely wrong. The little airplane wrong. <laughs> you can see kids having fun with this game. I could too. Algy, you would have loved it. Uh, Flip Flops thinks it's cute. These games are from the what? The 1800s, according to one uh, reviewer. They didn't even have cars in the 1800s. Joke's on you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> you think we need more wrong plane? All right. Wrong. <laughs> That's a nice, that would be a nice sub alert, right? Just a little plane that flies across us. Wrong. There we go. They forgot the part where you stand around doing nothing to maximize your pay. Hey, now, that you're giving road workers a bad name everywhere. <laughs> you hope there's a Zelda clone? What would they call a Zelda clone, do you, do you think, Trap Shot? Let me think. Uh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go first. Uh, Green Hat Sword Boy. <laughs> would be my guess. Maybe that's too long. That might be too many words. Zeldor? <laughs> it would be called Benthal Land. Something, something like that. <laughs> Melba. All right, road worker, kind of cute. Okay, what else do we have? You're welcome, G-Force. Did you see? <laughs> do you know, I know you know why that's on there. Uh, okay. Where were we? Oh, we were here. Hurry Burry, Rudder, Rabbit Village, Sea Maid, Bolt Action, Pulveration, Airwave, Mouse Hero, Music Moment, Pattern Maker, Panda Adventure, Snaffo, <laughs> Ice Ocean. Did I see an Ice Ocean in there? Sea Maid sounds interesting. All right, let's do Sea Maid. Stage one of Sea Maid. Here we go. Oh, that's us. 
we are the sea maid. I think, I guess, I assume we avoid those things. We have, a we're a mermaid, but we have air. We have an air meter. <laughs> I guess mermaids are like seals. They have to, they have to surface for air sometimes. We win! Oh. Oh no, is this where like tragedy happens on stage two? That's true, Algy. I wonder if this, the like a lot of their budget went into the music for this game. It's like not just like the same loop over and over like they usually are. We're kicking butt at Sea Maid though. Is it a toucan? I thought it was like a puffer fish or a puffin. A puffer fish. What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> you know those birds, puffer fish? Wow, that was super easy. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually beat the game on this. We're getting good RNG for... Oh, oh, I almost touched it. That's how bad the D-pad is, by the way. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... We won! We beat the game! <laughs> wow, what was that? Like, 30, 45 seconds, maybe? Maybe a minute and a half? I own the world record for C-Made on the... My arcade plug and play 2020 or 220. Amazing. I finally have a world record, Mom. <laughs> Your son's going places. Uh, okay. C made. Time to submit for awful games done quick. Oh my god. Snaffo. Snaffo has a weird name. Oh, it's it's cards. Oop! <laughs> Everybody's named Oop! Okay, how do I play this game? Jack. Uh, six. Three. <laughs> Left. Done. I don't know what's happening. Two. Oh, we were discarding. Oh, is it like, it's kind of like Euchre. It's kind of like Euchre, I think. Uh, oh wait, but the... Was something Trump? Uh, well I can't be beat a king. Okay, it's clubs again. Darn. Yeah, it does look, Raspy Do it did look like a... I don't have any diamonds. Uh... That would be a waste. We'll get rid of the eight. Can we win a single hand? Okay, king. Okay, we won one. And now we're in control. So we get, we're doing this. And we're doing this. Okay, so now we're gonna throw low a low heart to hopefully bait out a big heart. All right, let's do this. They didn't have any hearts. Oh. I didn't win though. And now okay or out out. <laughs> All right, so that's Snaffo. It's kind of like Euchre. Very similar to Euchre except you don't have partners. Uh Where were we? Bolt action. Oh yeah, here we are. Power robot, pizza boy, sea wolf, nutcracker, mowing. <laughs> Heck yeah, mowing. Yes! <laughs> it's every dad's dream game, mowing. Stage one. Oh, let's mow over the flowers. Flip-Flop's gonna be really upset. 
What? What is that, a demon? We're gonna mow over a diamond? Nice. <laughs> this is how I mow my lawn, by the way. It's just like random patterns everywhere. Another diamond. Oh, we need gas. Let's get some gas. Let's gas her up. Whoa! <laughs> Let's run over the dog. We... <laughs> we ran over the dog. I love it. Oh, there's a little puppy. Oh, what? Did that puppy just poop on my lawn? Run over the dog again. Oh, that time the dog beat up the lawnmower. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Hey, PGH Pin Fan, hello. You see your box art? Look, there it is. Oh, it's going off the screen a little bit. It's on the left. How you doing today? The dog totally looks like Muttley. Oh, you can't run over. If you ran over any of those animals, I mean, come on. <laughs> dog versus lawnmower. Mole versus lawnmower. Whoa! <laughs> we flattened him like a pancake. What happened? I, I know nothing interesting is going to happen if we finish mowing the lawn. Could you imagine actually like playing this game for entertainment? <laughs> Wait, I kind of I kind of am right now actually. I assume we can't run over this big plant. Yeah. It doesn't like that. I know Flip Flops is freaking out about mowing over the diamond. Here we go. Big time. Big time lawn mowing action. Uh, only here. I think those are weeds. I want that dog to get away from my lawnmower. Ugh. No, why are you doing the D-pad is so bad. <laughs> All right, we just have a little bit left of the lawn, and then we can go in and, like, have a beer. Almost done. And? Perfect. Perfect score in mowing. You can see that I know my way around the lawnmower. Whoa, 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 okay. We're good. Uh, let's get back to where we were. A uh, mowing mirror world wild rider puzzle. <laughs> Did someone point out that the game music sounds like it's ripped from Pinball 2 or Pitfall 2? No. I didn't, no one has said that yet. Nutcracker. All right, Nutcracker it is. Nutcracker. To save the princess. Oh, let's go, Nutcracker. We gotta save the princess. None of the buttons do anything. It seems we have a gun, but... Nice. All right. Oh, maybe this is ammo. Wow, did he just reach out for the ammo? Oh, get shot. You can only grab one bullet at a time. What? You didn't even give me a chance there. All right, we're going to murder this blue thing and just go for it. <laughs> Are those mice after your nuts? I think so. Okay, we got our ammo and shoot. Are we going to speed run yet another game? Stage five. Oh, he touched me. We're, we're, we're down to one life. Come on. What happens if we shoot the princess? <laughs> oh, baloney. That's a cute little jingle at the end when you die. This is a rip of an arcade game. Uh, okay. So we did Nutcracker. We did Snafo. Power Robot, Pizza Boy, Sea Wolf, Nutcracker. There it is. 
Magic Egg Mc Mechano. What's Mechano? Oh, I hit the wrong button. There was ass art. Did you see it? Uh. Okay. Uh. Mechano, start. Wow. <laughs> totally not made in paint. Mechano. We are painting like what? Like. Oh boy. Here we go. Can I make whatever I want, actually? <laughs> I can make whatever I want. No, it won't let me. Oh, I was going to make a penis. Good. <laughs> good. Very good. Okay. What do we want? We want red. Good. <laughs> Good. What is it? Oh, I wonder what shape goes in those. Wow, this is this is tricky. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, what? They're lit. <laughs> this is this is bad. <laughs> Very bad. That was definitely a baby game. Uh, all right. Lightning Little Witch Drink. <laughs> that is such a gross word, Dringle. <laughs> oh, there, there he is. There's Dringle. Stage one. What? What is this? Oh. Okay, you push blocks together and they disappear. And th is that when you get a dringle? <laughs> There's no sound whatsoever. What am I supposed to do with this one? Oh, did I screw up big time? Can't beat dringle. You've seen this one before? So what? You, you just lose? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Like, what's the... What's the... Oh. <laughs> you have achieved Dringle. Is this impossible? Or do I do, like, this? Huh? Huh? I have dringled. A dringle is you. I figured it out. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't like looking at this game. Oh, you uh, you probably have to match the exact ones. Yeah, see, you can't dringle those two together. You have to dringle matching tiles. Oh, crap. Oh, wow, I actually, I actually, oh, I didn't do it. Uh, I can't get, I can't get that one over there. <laughs> Can I pull them? Oh, I, if you press any button on the controller, it resets the stage. All right, I've dringled my last dringle. All right, let's go. Let's see what else we have. Dringle's terrible. Aerial hero, lightning, little witch. I want to see what little witch is. You have to be careful where you dringle. Absolutely. Little witch. Okay, it looks cute so far. I like I appreciate how the title has no capital letters. Here we go. Little witch. Oh my god, the controls are inverted. What the heck is the... What are these controls? The controls are inverted for left and right. <laughs> the controls are inverted, and the sprite goes the... Faces the opposite way. 
of the direction you're going. <laughs> <laughs> who t who play tested this? I want to know. Is the controller? Am I supposed to hold it like it's got horns? Oh, this is weird. <laughs> you, this is so weird. I think we're supposed to be moving around a map or something. Oh, she drowned to death. She, the little witch drowned to death. Okay, all right. <laughs> game over. Is that the Street Fighter 2 game over? <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. All right, uh, little witch. What do we have? <laughs> Aether Cruiser, Jumping Kid, Jump Jump, Magic Bubble, Dominoes, Cannonade, Hen and Sons. <laughs> There's two good ones here. Jump Jump, Jump. There's a couple. Hen and Sons, Jumping Kid. Let's try Jumping Kid first. Jumping Kid. Here we go. Oh, the graphics are terrible. You can definitely jump. Kind of. <laughs> it's so stiff. Hello, House of Mule. Ugh. Hey, we beat a level. The jumping kid looks like a 40-year-old ginger man. I am rocking this game. Years of playing Super Mario Brothers uh, has prepared me for Jumping Kid. What if there's an Alex Kid rip on one of these? Oh my god, it'll be double. Look at that! They, they like tried to emulate physics with the rope. Uh, it would be double bad then, G Force. <laughs> Alex Cod. Alex Adult. Bobsy. All right, nice job. Level two complete. Oh, it's stage four. Oh, it's flip flops versus quebs. It's the it's the ultimate battle in the in the boxing. I you know they did a nice job on some of the backgrounds. They're probably ripped from other games. The battle for a McFlurry. <laughs> the McFlurry Massacre. <laughs> that is hilarious, House of Mule. <laughs> the McMassacre. I like that the ground bounces. Oh, no. Flip-flops betting a thousand on herself. Ooh, nice. How many levels do we have? Stage six. Very simple game. I mean, obviously, just look at it, right? I like that the fireworks are all going off in the background, too. Well, they actually, the, fire, the fireworks are taking place over the background, if you look carefully. <laughs> Fine, Flip Flops, you can have the McFlurry. <laughs> Please don't hit me again. Are these games written on the same hardware? This, uh, Quax, oops. Did you see what the console looks like, Quaxplat? For those, oh, I got a game over. For those that haven't seen what we're playing right now, I'll show it again. I usually do this a couple times. Here it is. It's the My Arcade plug and play TV game console. And that's that's what it looks like. It is not comfortable. It looks like a uh, an N64 controller without the the center piece. And the blue thing does nothing. It's not a button. It's just uh, 
like you if, even if you touch it it like doesn't even move so that's that's our that's our console so that's the hardware we're playing on so let's reset we're gonna try jump jump i th i think i saw raspy do say jump jump uh the daddy mac will make you jump jump <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so this guy this hero oh we played this on the other one he is obviously not wearing pants because you can see his belly button he looks like i don't even know here we go jump jump i wonder if this is supposed to be like bonk he's got like a bump on his head oh god it's bad we've got a turtle we've we've just absorbed a turtle Oh, they're hurting me. Minus 200 for an apple. <laughs> Why is it minus 200 for an apple? We did it. We got it. It just seems... Okay, it looks like it's the same stage over and over and over again. It's... I mean, just look at it. <laughs> What's on his head? I think it's like a bump. He's got like a contusion. Oh, thanks for the one up. <laughs> Another one up. The game wants me to keep playing. It's like, please play this. <laughs> Wait, are those giving me positive score, though? Yes, they are. Oh, maybe it's a plus and it's just rendered so, so poorly. Oh, no. There we go. And it's just the same thing over and over. What's a game over look like? <laughs> His jump animation. Oh, he didn't even do it that time. Game over. Wah, wah, wah. And it's just jump, jump. That is quite a uh, sprite. All right, we did jump, jump. And now I want to see what Hen and Sons. Hen and Sons is all about. That's adorable. Hen and Sons. Okay. We are a hen. That has no animation. What do, what do I do? It's a sleeping something. Oh, look. What does it say? Worm, worm, worm. It needs a worm. Oh, we got to get worms. How do I find worms? Is this a worm? I have a worm. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Can we just leave the game? I'm going back in my tree. What? Oh, man, that's great. I love that the hen is like, no, my sons need worms. What? Now it works? Worm, worm. Where did I get? Oh, do I get them from the tree? Is that where I get them from? Did I just accidentally find out how to play this game? Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. The worm tree. Yeah, oh, okay. I guess that that's what that thing is supposed to be, a worm. Nice, okay. Hen and sons. We're getting it. We're getting real good at this. Oh, don't go down there. You didn't know that worms grew on trees? Oh, 
G-Force, you need to go back to school, buddy. <laughs> worm, worm! I think it's supposed to be a worm! That is a great worm tree. I'm crushing this. I'm pretty much the best Head and Sons player in the world, and I'm saying that truthfully. Uh, I'm probably the, the only Head and Sons player in the world. <laughs> we did speedrun a game earlier, Raspy Do. It was uh, the Sea Maid one. We actually beat that one. Oh, there's a snake. It looked like an, an Ekans. Oh, yeah, it even shows the worm in your mouth. Whoa. Chicken five. Oh, we got more time. Oh, I don't know what's affecting the time there. The time keeps going up and down. <laughs> I don't understand the time, the time mechanic in this. I'm not, not, I'm not sure that we need to. Nice stage four. Here we go. It's getting, it's getting real now. Oh God. Whoa. Stay away from my babies. Oh, that was rude. After you give him the worm, you have six seconds to get the new worms. Oh, have you played this before, Purple Turret? Or you just you just deduced that? All right, let's get back. Eight chickens left. Come on, get up there. The D-pad is abysmal. I, I know I've said that already. Oh! Hen! Game over! <laughs> that wasn't fair though. The game the game blocked me. I couldn't get I couldn't get over there and save my sons. Alright, what's next? Uh, we're way up in the hundreds now. Uh, Silent Hunter, Cute Fish, Diamond, Panzer Attack, Lunarian, Pobble. Pobble's kind of a cute name. Polar Bat? <laughs> polar Bat. Oh, yes, that's a Polar Bat. <laughs> All right, polar bat. We have little Samson's head. And it's just a... a it's kind of like, what is that? Buster Bros? Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's the icicle from Ice Climbers. The music just stopped. <laughs> Pubble Pobble? It might be Pubble Pobble. This one's this one's nothing to write home about. The name is funny though, Polar Bat. Okay, oh the the icicles take two hits. Why is, oh this guy's killing bats! He's killing bats! In the in the like Arctic, so it's polar bat. I get it. So now it makes total sense. <laughs> Where's Pobble? Let's try Pobble. Super pro hockey. I gotta try that too. Pobble. Pobble. Uh, I'm driving in the air. <laughs> it's 
splattered a bird with a pobble. It seems like this is some kind of just dodging game. Oh, I hit a storm cloud. Is this the same engine as the car game? It see it feels the same. You gotta yeah, you definitely have to obey the sky traffic lights, uh, house and mule. Oh, Pobble processing, G-Force. <laughs> You've never crashed into a cloud while you're flying in an airplane, itinerant soldier? It's not fun. It really messed you up. Oh, I, w I wonder what the star gives us. Oh, holy crap! Last life in Pobble. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I just came to a dead stop. Perfect. Okay, I got the star. There is momentum. I do think it's the same engine as the car game. There is a sense of momentum to it. Because you will, you'll decelerate to a dead stop eventually. Oh, it just loops. It's just looping. Oh, whoa, I thought it was. So I beat a level in Pobble. I guess it's nighttime now. Let's just see if we can go through it as fast as we possibly can. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Nope. All right, that was Pobble. What else do we have in here? Uh, oh yeah, Super Pro Hockey. Wow. Are those hockey sticks or... <laughs> they look inappropriate. This looks like it's out of an Atari. We're going Super Pro. This is Super Pro Hockey. I selected Super Pro. Here we go. Super Pro Hockey. Which one am I? Oh, I'm the I'm the red. Nice shot. Nice shot. Okay, we're definitely going to score a goal. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm really in the game. It's got like it's got like it's got to do some calculations on the rebounds, right? Oh, the the goalie's down. My guys are really bad at shooting. They look like monkeys or something. <laughs> like red and yellow monkeys. Well, there we go. Look at how long it is. Oh my God, 18 minutes remaining. This is as long as a real hockey game. 18 minutes. I'm not playing this for 18 minutes. <laughs> just to find out what happens. It's probably just says game over when it ends. Uh, scuba hunt, numbers, pinball. Let's see how this thing does pinball. What a, hitting mices. <laughs> we have the classic hitting mices and also hit mouse. Edacity snakes, <laughs> rural gum. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right, pinball first. Pinball start. Oh my God. Again, the flippers look inappropriate again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so realistic. Oh, what's the other? Oh, it's this button. Okay. Okay. 
Oh! It's a double-decker. It's a double-decker pinball machine. Yes, Raspy do it. Uh, the, the, the flippers look inappropriate. <laughs> We're playing uh, penis pinball. This is pretty terrible. Like, this is a, b a very bad implementation of pinball. They gave, they gave it their best, and they fell way short. Uh, okay, let's see. There's so many good ones on this one. Hitting mices. <laughs> what the gorilla? Is that, is that Jerry's face right there? And we've got a, a mouse doing, like, Tai Chi. Happy Friday, Ivy. Player pause? Oh, okay. I'm a monkey. And I gotta hit mices. Before they get in the hole, apparently. Nice job. Lightning! Oh, I want the lightning. There's no way you could get there in time to hit that mices. <laughs> That's just Jerry. Okay, I want the... I wanted the lightning, but there's no way we're gonna get it. I mean, it is... Okay, we got the lightning, but now we're really fast. Like, that feels like the speed you should be going. What is the heart at the bottom, do you know? What is this? Oh, okay, that's a power down. Now we're really slow. So don't get the snowflakes. Only the lightning. Maybe the UI, maybe it's showing me that I have one life or something? Let's lose. Player, game over. We, we lose hitting mices. <laughs> All right, next. Whoa, did I go too far? No. All right. Hit mouse. Let's see what hit mouse is. Hit mouse. Oh, no. It's just this one again. And they're not even mice. They're moles. <laughs> I was the king of this game last time. I couldn't lose. Because all you got to do is go like this. The hammer actually disappeared for a minute. How is this a completely different game? On the other on the other console that we played last time for Garbage Day is called the Family Pocket. And it had a game that was just it actually had two games that were just that. Did they did the programmer let his kid name these? Maybe that would make sense. All right, Edacity Snakes. What is Edacity? Hey, that's the snake from um, Jungle Book, isn't it? The Edacity. Okay, it is... It's just like Snake. But with ten times the Edacity. It's a sad looking snake. Yeah, and something I didn't mention yet, that I I have to tap the D-pad to move. Like if I don't tap it, he just moves like this. So I have to keep tapping left, 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 up, 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 up. What happens if we make the Edacity snake eat itself? You can't. <laughs> Snakes don't like to eat snakes. Oh, maybe if, if maybe we need to let it. There we go. There we go. 
You have to let it so that the game tries to progress you, and then you can't. What's up with the music? <laughs> the music goes insane at the end. Alright, that was Edacity Snakes. Uh, Rural Goblin. <laughs> Rural Goblin. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I can't do anything. Nothing is happening. <laughs> okay, I bonked that one, but like, how am I? Is it a certain button I have to hit for the color? Red is this button. It doesn't even correspond with the no, with the colors on the D or on the on the console though. <laughs> oh my lord! All right, rural goblin. What a what a disappointment! It had it had potential to be like the best game. We have dice, season garden, skywing, escapeway, Hobbs voyage, skateboard kid, Vectron, and. Running back chess? RB chess? Hobbs Voyage. We must be... This must be Hob. You know, it's nice when the games don't have any music. The enemies are killing each other. Do I have to collect all the balloons? No, the balloons kill you. What is the goal? Yeah, the, the balloons kill you. <laughs> you can't... Oh, you can shoot. Oh, maybe it's just like a high score thing. Oh, my goodness. Quite terrible. Quite terrible. Uh, skateboard kid. Oh, I think we played this one. Wasn't this just on the other one? It was called. It was that. That one was called Octopus C. Right now, this is Skateboard Kid. He's getting chased by a UFO and a turd. <laughs> oh, we can't. Okay, so we can't skateboard. We only skateboard on the blue stuff. They barely changed the graphics too. Like I remember the game over screen on the other one was this was the mermaid like tied up like that in the water. All right, let's try Vectron. Oh, okay. What what am I doing? Wait, this is this is actually Vectron, isn't it? This is a real game. Like on the Atari, I think, right? I'm not sure how to play it. I'm just shooting stuff. What is Vectra? I think it's an old Atari game that's like this. Where you were like a face in the wall and you sh and you shot stuff. Game over. <laughs> okay, thanks. Scored 35 points though. Pretty sure that's the world record. Uh, RB chess? No. Dragon running. Grot kid. <laughs> the archer. Man in red. Undersea arena. Sky Dreamer Star Attack. What is Grot Kid? Grot Kid. <laughs> grot. We're gonna grot it up. Whoa. Hey Simon, happy Friday. Oh, it was for in television. I thought it was for um Atari. So Grot Kid just goes around collecting popsicles, I guess. Okay, we gotta get the balloon. 
Goodbye, Grot Kid. And this, okay, this round it's candy. I'm good at Grot Kid. Oh, don't go up there, Grot Kid. We're surrounded by lava. I wonder where Grot Kid is. Oh no, he's actually dead. He turned into an angel. <laughs> We've killed Grot Kid. This music is abysmal. I'm happy to say that this console, remember how I was talking last time about the family pocket and how hot it got? This one is just fine. It hasn't gotten hot at all. So maybe it's it's like some superior construction or something. Stage three, where are we going? Okay, we're picking up beer bottles. I can't stand the music though. That's enough. <laughs> I I hate the the music. You think it's liquid cooled super dirt bro? Uh Man in Red. Man in Red. He looks pretty cool. Level one. Oh, I was hoping it would be like Contra. Instead it's just a guy in red shooting down UFOs with his rifle. Yo, what's up, sick Jake? Level two! So why not man in black? You wouldn't be able to see him on the mountains, Algae. <laughs> Duh! This is just dead simple, though. I don't even know how you lose a life. I guess you have to wait until the UFOs come all the way down for you. Level four. We're speed running it. Are we going to beat Man in Red? It'll be the second ever game that I've beaten on one of these uh, garbage consoles. Real... Real alien hunters wear red to hide from infrared. <laughs> Is that how that works? Level five. I love how he's just glitching out down there. It looks like he's playing the guitar. It realistically represents the threat of UFOs. Yeah, and, and how you stop them from invading. You just go out in your backyard with a rifle and shoot them all down. Is the, do we just camp the corner? Is that a good strat? It's like that dude in Independence Day. The guy who, like, uh, sacrifices himself. He would do this if he couldn't fly a plane. That's how a real man hunts UFOs. With a rifle and a red shirt. Randy Quaid, yes, exactly. That's the guy. I'm just I'm I'm pretending that that's who we're playing as right now. Level eight. This is the type of system you give to young kids so they won't touch your PS5. I could honestly I could see like a very young kid enjoying this this console, just like the Family Pocket as well. You know, they, they probably have like an hour or two of fun with it and then forget it exists. Which system is this? Um, I will show you in just a sec. Once we once we either game over or uh, beat the game, I'll show you. This was the second mystery console for our garbage day mystery consoles. I might pick up some more. If any of you guys know of any garbage consoles kind of like this, message me in Discord and I'll see if I can get my hands on one. Because there's only one left after this that we're going to do next month. Uh, but I saved... I don't know if it's the best for last. I won! 
I beat the game. Man in red. Get wrecked. Uh, okay, here is the console. It's the My Arcade Plug and Play TV game console. And you can see we've got some nice reviews for it. My favorite review is the last review. The the last review on the on the list, which says the short is very short, so you have to sit very close to your TV. It was not compatible to my TV, so I didn't even get to use it. Three stars. <laughs> That's the best review. The chort is very short. Algie, I don't know what they're talking about. This chort is like 20 feet long. I'm not kidding. It's super duper long. So, yeah, that's the, the my plug and play TV game console is what we're doing right now. Uh, okay, like it's way longer than the like the NES classic cords for the controllers. Way longer than that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, Undersea Arena. We're going to the undersea arena, baby. Here we go, stage one. What's happening? Bomb, bomb. Nothing's happening. I'm pressing every button. Oh, was I supposed to be tracking? Oh my God, it's like bad battleship. I was supposed to be paying attention. <laughs> you like how there are no copyright dates on the games? Yeah. Well, this is actually like, I assume this is like a newer thing because it, it like shows, it, it looks like an N64 controller kind of. Is it, here's a question for you guys. Is a game from 2006 considered retro? Uh, all right, Halley who <laughs> Goblet Tower. We tried that one. We know what that is. Goalkeeper Gate Antiquarium. Uh, antiquarium and then Aquarium. We have the Aquarium and the Antiquarium. Close Quarters and Fruit Dish. I want to try Halley who You'd say it is. So Theo says yes. Quacksplat says no. It's not retro unless it's old enough to drink. Sick Jake. Halley who? What? What am I? A bird? <laughs> Dead? <laughs> You'd say no as well. 2006 isn't retro. So there were still games coming out on like the PS2. Uh, like I looked at some games that came out in 2006. One of them was Okami. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus came out on the PS2. Uh, what else? I think of Dirge of Cerberus as being retro. Uh, but I don't think of Okami as being retro. Mega Man ZX came out in 2006. I'm just trying to think of them off the top of my head. Anything pre-2000, DJ? Is Tomb Raider Legend Retro? I don't even know what game that is. You try not to think of Dirge of Cerberus? Would you say, though, that Dirge of Cerberus is retro, but Okami isn't? Isn't that weird? But I, I feel like maybe Dirge of Cerberus is a little bit more retro because... Oh, I think Final Fantasy XII also came out in 2006. Oblivion came out in 2006. Um, I feel like... Dirge of Cerberus might maybe is the gets the retro feel because it's a character from Final Fantasy 7, you know? You don't consider Symphony of the Night retro yet? I definitely consider Symphony of the Night retro. When did Symphony of the Night came out in like what? 96? 97? That's definitely retro. Uh Goalkeeper, Antiquarium, Close Quarters, Fruit Dish, and there's Ass Art. Burbles! <laughs> Ermagerd Burbles! <laughs> Burbles! What? It's paused. Oh, the game starts paused. Not what I expected. Oh, we're killing people as they're parachuting in? That's terrible. 
They're defenseless! Two thousand uh, nineteen ninety eight. I say it's definitely retro. Here's a decent rule out you thought of that might not be all that good. If the game had a remake of it using nothing but brand new assets instead of just scaling up the graphics, it's retro. What? Okay. What about Skyrim? <laughs> oh wait, no, that's that's not brand new assets. This game is kind of violent. This game is terrible. We're shooting defenseless paratroopers all right what happens when we lose let us die let's let the people live <laughs> we're refusing orders uh, because this is inhumane, killing these guys. I know it's just going to say game over, so let's just skip on out of there. Uh, what else do we have? We're getting into the... Ooh, we're, we're actually running out of time for this. And it hasn't crashed. Let's look for some really good ones. We have uh, Downhill Racer, Burrow Explore... Burbles. <laughs> Cub Adventure, Highway Rider, Labyrinth. Frantic Mouse, Chinese Checkers, Pillar, Bubble, the sequel to Burble. Oh, don't use those yet, Sick Jake. It doesn't work for this one. It'll work on the Super Nintendo. Now, you've used up one of your ad five minutes. Salver. Forest Kid. Robot. Justice. Old Maid. Strafe. Sudoku. Arena. Bugs War. Angel. A oh, I thought that said Addiction. Addition. Awful rushing. <laughs> oh, the word awful is right in the title. Awful rushing. So we know what this one's going to be like. Those Are those trucks sideways? 2004! Maybe this this game this game is modern. It's not retro. It's too new. Oh my lord. Game's too hard. I'm pretty sure those trucks are driving sideways. A new game that tries to look like an old game is literally retro. I, I call those like retro styled or what was the what was someone had a good term for it. Retro inspired games like Enter the Gungeon. I don't think of that as a retro game, but it has a retro look. When do I run out of lives or something? <laughs> How do we lose this game? Here is your joke, Quacks Platt. A butcher accidentally backed into his meat grinder and got a little behind in his work that day. Oh my goodness. Quebbot. There we go. Time over. Wow, that was only our first life. That's enough of awful rushing. Move box. Hot speed. Space base. Blob man. <laughs> Retro means the appreciation of the classic aesthetic. Is that true? I disagree. I don't think it's just the aesthetic. I think it's also like the the um the mechanics. All right, Blob Man. Here we go. Blob Man start. Wow, are we like Kool-Aid Man's crappy brother? Blob man, I think are we just collecting sewage? I think we only collect the red ones <laughs> In a sewer yeah, it's sewer kool-aid It 
Haven't you ever wondered what sewer Kool-Aid tastes like? I like that little mutant whatever it is that appears in the sewer every so often in the background. He looks so happy. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent game. Oh, now he's red. So we gotta collect green. Whoa, we missed a lot. What? <laughs> Do you explode through, explode through someone's wall after you fill up? I think you explode through their toilet. Wait, but the green is still hurting me? What? But I had green liquid in the thing. That was light green? I can't even tell the difference. <laughs> Blob man. Sewer man. Uh, long jump egg contest. Frantic fishing. Toy bricks. Twin card zoom. Base and abscondi. Abscondi, raspy do. Here we go. What on earth? It's an alien with a backpack and a jelly bean. Oh, okay. We collect the things. We have a propeller here that d did nothing. Do we collect the blues? I guess. These? Yep. What is that? Oh, it's poking me. <laughs> I'm getting probes. I'm an alien. I should be doing the probing around here. Uh. Come on. What's this do? Oh, we needed to step on that. Something tells you these games would never get the... Oh, did you see that? There's blood! We bled to death. Wow. I thought this was for kids. Oh, the D-pad. It's hard to describe how bad the D-pad is. Fun for the family. Bleeding aliens. Good old-fashioned family fun. Hey, there we go. And it's just more of the same. All right. That's nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Small dinosaur. Fuel. <laughs> pong pong. <laughs> pong pong. Oh, yes. This is the bumper cars game. That's at, okay, the music stops every time you run into somebody and then you drive down a well and die. Oh, look at the, the AI are fighting. I'm gonna pong you right out of here. Oh, the controls are just like, what am I doing? I can't, I can't figure out how to turn. <laughs> just kill ourselves. Uh, three country? What three country? Whoa! The music! Oh my god, is this Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Stage one. It's, <laughs> it's Mahjong? Is that what this is? Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. What else do we have? Boxes, Pentabase, Mad Xmas, Superhero. Superhero. Ah, we're in a we're in a car. Oh, we shoot. Oh my god, it's like a, an actual game.
We got a star. All right, all right. Oh! Whoa! Cool, okay. His little blaster is terrible. Isn't that, um, that sound is from Contra, isn't it? That sound? Oh, I thought that was a platform. Oh, now we're a completely different character. <laughs> what? Oh! Whoops. What am I doing? Oh, I have like a Hadouken. How did I do that? Oh, uh... <laughs> Oh my god, terrible. It looks like we're fighting virtual boys. I have no idea what is triggering that fire thing. Help! The superhero is asking for help. End. That was like an actual game, though. Uh, did we go through all of them? Strong pill? I think we played that. Soda... Powerboat, Mad Xmas. Oh, it's the t it's that miserable music again. What a Mad Xmas! Can I have that? Oh my God! Santa Claus murdered him with lightning. <laughs> Yeah, Santa does look pretty ticked off, doesn't he? Uh, uh, why would... Santa Claus is evil. He's dropping... Okay, now we gotta be faster. He's dropping lightning on this poor kid. And a bomb! Santa's a terrorist! The devil? <laughs> it all makes sense. We win! Stage two. It's just more of the same. Man, this would be like a, a kid's dream though. Like Santa just dumping gifts on you from the sky. Let's get the bomb. Oh my God. <laughs> Santa stole my skin. Okay, I can only take so much of this music. Ah, let's get out of here. Uh, mouse, snare, strong pill, eggs. <laughs> eggs. Eggs! We're a robot catching eggs, of course. Elephant! <laughs> What? Snail! <laughs> Butterfly! What is this? Oh! Urchin! Camel! <laughs> I'm crying! Penguin! <laughs> A gold! <laughs> A camera! <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, there are tears coming down my face right now. Ah, oh, candy. Yes. What up? <laughs> A freaking box. Ugh. A house! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, I can't play this anymore. It's freaking hilarious. A house! A lantern! <laughs> this is the best game! The moon! <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Let's get, I can, I can breathe. A pentagon. What else? This is the best game. A pig. Bleeb, a bleeb. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Earth <laughs> with a ring around it. <laughs> oh. The sun! <laughs> oh, we've come full circle. I think we've seen all of them. Yeah, okay. We've come full circle. Oh my god. Oh. I don't think you can lose the game either. Whoa. That was so good. Oh, that was so good. God, that made me laugh. <laughs> All right. That is two hours of the My Play plug and play, uh, or My Arcade plug and play 220 um, video games built in console. Holy cow. That was hilarious. I am gonna go take a short break. I'm gonna get the Super Nintendo all hooked up and everything uh, so that we can do some retro roulette garbage day for the SNES. And, uh, hey, Ancuria, thanks for the host. I'll be back in just a minute. It, it might take me a little longer this time because uh, I gotta do the, the OSSC and everything. But I will be right back in just a minute, I promise.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, thanks for waiting, everybody. Uh, sorry about that. That was... Wow. I, I, I think I hurt my neck. I was laughing so hard. Oh, I gotta get my controller. Sorry. Okay, I got the controller. Oh, uh, the Super Nintendo is all hooked up. Yeah, the... The good old My Arcade plug and play TV game console. Best game is called Egg. If you haven't seen me play it, definitely give it a shot for yourself. It was freaking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> You're doing bleep, V Dig? Me too. I'm doing pretty bleak. I haven't laughed that hard in forever. Oh my god. I had tears streaming down my face. That was so funny. Oh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to start up the Super Nintendo portion of Garbage Day. Uh, we are going to do our first game and a spin. Let's get going. Here we go. What are we going to play first? Starting the retro roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. There are 102 games to choose from. 102 games! Nice! What do we get first? I see Bebe's kids in there. The Retro Roulette has chosen Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat 3. 3. <laughs> it is, it's 100% trash. Uh, it's 100% trash rating. We've got Mortal Kombat 3 as the first game. Okay, where is it? Mortal Kombat 3. You know what I gotta do? Um, I'm gonna have to turn down the volume because this is probably gonna split your guys' eardrums uh, when it starts up. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just get in here really quick and make sure this is zero. There. Somebody rated it as being trash. Uh, so, or some, actually, somebody, yeah, somebody rated this as trash during, uh, some, one of our events. So, that's how it ended up here. If, if people, see, you can see the trash rating down there is at 100%, but it only has one vote. So, that's, that's how it ended up here. Now it has two, hey, Xenorex. It has two votes. I am terrible at Mortal Kombat. Oh, and now is when you can use your add or subtract five minutes. Uh, just so you know. If you guys know how to do the moves, please tell me how to do the moves. Because I don't know how to do any of the moves. I'm not, I'm not experienced with Mortal Kombat at all. Uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 is on the Genesis is it not on the Super Nintendo I don't know it just this one just said Mortal Kombat 3 so that's what I I picked we've got we're evening it out with a treasure vote from Super Derp Round one. it looks good I mean oh, I did a move I have no idea how I did it though holy crap She's like, what do you do? Oh, one of these is block. Come on, how do I do a move? You'll gladly keep Mario Kombat 3 in the trash list so long as Ultimate Mortal Kombat is on the treasure list. I don't know that I played Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Good Lord. How do I do a move? Ah, uh, There should be a game called Mario Combat. I think that there is. I think it's a racing game though. Okay, that guy's bad. I didn't like that guy, whoever we were. So we're gonna pick someone else. I know that there's at least one good game in here because someone didn't didn't kind of understand the garbage day thing. They were supposed to be bad games. Uh, I, I think it might be one of the R-type games got added. But the thing, forward, forward, plus a button should do moves for Liu Kang. Is that him? We'll try it. All right, thanks, Z-Force. We're going to try that. We're going to do the forward, forward, and a button. 
master warrior. Oh, is that why we were on the hardest difficulty? The original Mortal Kombat 3 isn't a great game and the ports of it aren't much better. All right, Sindel. Forward, forward, button. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That kick is awesome. Oh. I won. I won a round. It's like the first time ever. Oh, I'm doing so good. It was all, it was just, it was just needed to know that one move. I love how she just like tipped over <laughs> like stiff as a board. Mario, Com or Mario combat. Oh my God. Uh, Mortal Kombat AI difficulty is more of a polite suggestion that will get ignored. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3 is when they start emphasizing combos. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. This stage reminds me of Batman. With all those gargoyle butts in the background. Danger. Wow. He smoked me. Round two. Fight. Block. <laughs> He saw right through my perfect defense. Dude. Oh my god. I could do nothing. Maybe it's not that I did really good the first time. It's that that character I was playing against is really bad. That's a possibility. So you're supposed to memorize. Is it kind of like Killer Instinct in that way then, Theo? game over let's try a different character there is no knowledge that is not power Cab cabal is the easiest character who's which one is he this guy is he cabal i hope so yes all right we're doing novice what does he have? Meat hooks as his weapons? That guy looks like Picard, totally. Okay, here we go. Yes! Two hits! What? I did way more than two hits! I just annihilated him. Holy crap. They're called hook swords. Oh, <laughs> what a wimpy kick. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. All right. We got to do better than that. I don't know any of this dude's moves. He, he keeps going in the air when I do. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Sir. <laughs> and then he just donks me on the top of the head. Oh, Mortal Kombat 3 is over. Itinerant Soldier has had enough of me getting stomped into the ground. Let's see what's next, shall we? Let's see what we're going to get. Next game. I wanted to see a fatality. There's no way I was going to do one, but it would be Starting cool to see the AI do one. For garbage day on the SNES. There are 101 games to choose from. Ooh, 101. Lucky 101. What's this going to be? Retro Roulette has chosen James Pontu Tukdo look submitted by Duke Donuts. 
Uh, okay, James Pond 2. If this doesn't exist, uh, I'm going to play whatever I want. Yeah, there's no... There's no James... There's no James Pond 2. <laughs> so, I, I'll pick the closest thing in the in the list to that and it's James Bond Jr. It's Super James Pond. Okay, let's see. Well, you got to put in the right names. <laughs> Super James Pond. Hey, I found it. Here we go. It's licensed by Nintendo, Vector Dean. That's a weird name. All right, time for some Super James Pond. What the heck? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. That's what is that my attack? What? Oh, okay, I'm going in the door. Is that my attack stretching my torso? <laughs> no, it does nothing. It's Christmas themed for a reason. What? Oh, can I like attack like that then? Oh, that's just my duck. So I jump and duck maybe? Yes. Okay, that's it. We jump and duck. Yeah, it does look very Amiga. All right. Oh, the slowdown. Can I, can I get to the top? Like, can I bring my body up here? Oh, the stupid bird, I think, keeps... What the heck? Oh, you just jump on stuff. This is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Can we bring our body up? No. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, you can. You have to grab onto something. Okay. We figured something out. Whoa. Is it just like a big collect-a-thon? So how did I grab that? Oh, you just let go of the button. Interesting. It's a, at least they did like an interesting kind of mechanic. You know, you don't see that every day. <laughs> the old stretchy torso. I think it's, I honestly, I think it's still better than Bubsy though. You've never been able to stand more than five minutes. I'm going to double. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, okay. I saw some errors in Quebbot and I was like, whoa. Oh, here we go. Like, a lot of Amiga games are just like that, aren't they? It's like, you just collect all the things. I don't have a lot of... I don't have any experience with the Amiga, actually. I played about five minutes of Wiz and Liz once. 
and that's it. It's apparently my, um, my bot is having a hard time saving screenshots. It's saying image save failed in the error log. So that shouldn't affect what we're doing. You res you want to respect the Amiga, but it hasn't given you many reasons yet. What is the best Amiga game? Oh, there's the exit. Shoot. Come on. Fighting Spirit is the best Amiga game. The best Amiga games were, were ported to DOS. There's a Teenage Mutant Ninja port, on, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle port on the Amiga, like the Ultra Games one, and that one's pretty good. Does the Amiga have like a definitive character that's like, oh yeah, uh, like how there's a Mario for Nintendo and then, you know, Genesis or Sega Sonic. What is the Amiga? Is James Pond the Amiga version of that? Don't go looking for the Amiga mascot. Why? <laughs> Warning? What is it, like, not suitable for work or something? No, I'm really curious. Amiga's mascot is either a strip poker girl or the beast from Shadow of the Beast. There's the exit. I don't even know how to get up there, though. Hmm. What's the secret? Oh, okay. We got to get all the way over here. James, James, you're dying. <laughs> it immediately devolved into pornography. Seriously. It, it, I, I would think it would be just like a, like a little Amiga, you know, like a little Amiga icon or like maybe it had like a little smiley face on the monitor, you know, like family friendly stuff. You'll just come out and say it. The guy Commodore hired to make the mascot made a sexy furry. What kind of animal is it? You got to hit the bat card. The bat card. Oh, the flying ones. Don't Google it. <laughs> Don't Google it on stream while I get banned forever. Whoop. Get off there. It seems that James Pond is immune to all damage, though. He looks very angry down there. Was he holding books? Just Googling Amiga mascot gets you porn, right? Now. <laughs> That's crazy. Why is it like that? <laughs> He's holding a stack of Amiga games. <laughs> That's why he's angry. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. We got the exit. I do appreciate that they tried to do something different with uh, the stretchy thing. It's just weird that uh, it's a frog doing it. 
Like, maybe a snake would make more sense or something. It's like Lola Bunny, but it's a squirrel instead. Oh my god. Oh, he's a fish? James Pond is a fish? Why? I thought he would have been a frog. Yeah, I guess that's why his legs are weird. He's a fish. His face looks like a frog face, though. A t-shirt. Is that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirt? It is. Well, we can never get those treasures now. It's an unofficial mascot. They didn't like the squirrel, the... Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Alright. James Pond and pornographic console uh, mascots. Interesting. Let's go! What are we doing next on the old garbage day? That's not the most garbage game I've ever played. That's not even the most garbage game I've played tonight. <laughs> Starting the Retro Roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. There are 101 games to choose from. You're gonna laugh if I get Super Troll Island? I'm hovering the S's, Duke. <laughs> no! The Retro Roulette has chosen. Bubsy submitted by Tot underscore boss. No! <laughs> I will have you all know, I have beaten this game before, and it was totally not worth it. Terrible game. Who voted treasure, Duke? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Miserable, miserable, miserable game. This, I bet you a hundred bucks, was also an Amiga game. I bet you a thousand dollars. It was not, a, this was not an Amiga game. Okay, what are the huge problems? Let's just go down the list. I thought about doing a YouTube review of Bubsy, but I just couldn't even bring myself to play it. Um, the platforming is extremely inaccurate. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, you have one hit deaths. Okay, like I just died there and I didn't even know I was dead. <laughs> I thought I was still alive. Uh, I guess that'll kill me if I get that banana. I, di I died again. <laughs> um, and the game, it like, it's like, it's almost like it wants to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Where you run really fast, but you actually really want to take your time. Uh because you'll just run into something and instantly die. Uh, the controls are extremely stiff. And you, you can see right there, you've got like momentum. There's momentum in it. It absolutely wants to be, yeah. I, I, I think I read somewhere that the guy who, who came up with Bubsy, like, what did he do? He like played nothing but Sonic the Hedgehog games. Oh yeah, and there's another like thing. There's fall out. damage. <laughs> you die if you fall too far. Like I'm surprised I didn't die right there. Oh, those are bad guys. I, I thought out. they were collectibles. I beat when I beat this game, it was like the most miserable week I've ever had while streaming. <laughs> Like, I just didn't want to play... <laughs> I just didn't want to play it anymore. I was so over it. Yeah, it, and you can look around. See, and later levels... It, it, this looks easy or whatever. Uh, but the later levels are, like, kind of like mazes a little bit. Oh, well, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? 
All right, don't go down there. And this was this was basically the week of playing Bubsy and beating it. it was like, oh, can't do that. Oh, okay, can't do that. It's like, what was that? It's just like constantly getting your your hand slapped, you know. And you don't know why. It's just all of a sudden, bam! Someone slaps your hand, and then like two minutes later, bam! Someone slaps your hand. It's just not even enjoyable. <laughs> Super Troll Island. Chris wants to see it as much as Duke does. Well, a hundred years death. What could possibly go wrong? Do I have a mister? No, I was actually just asking in my Discord a good place to get one because I would really like to do a like a, a garbage day or a retro roulette with multiple consoles. So the mister, I think, would let me switch quickly between them and not have to mess with the OSSC. I don't have a, a SCART switch because they're like ridiculously expensive. So... What could possibly go wrong? And I, I like having all my consoles out, but they take up a lot of room too. So it would be nice just to consolidate everything. SCART sucks. Uh... HD 15 connectors for an OSSC, Corgi Dan? Is that is that what you're supposed to use? <laughs> well, game get past the first level. Game over. How do you subtract five minutes from this? You use your channel points. What could possibly go wrong? You sound like Yoda. There is no supposed to. <laughs> do or do not. There is no supposed to. Oh. Hey, it's over. We've done it. <laughs> All right. What's the next game? Yay. Bubsy's dead. <laughs> you use a really stupid setup that converts everything to a 5X BNC connectors and back to SCART, the OSSC. Good lord. On the SNES. There are 100 games to choose from. Th yes, thank you, PGH Pin Fan. Thank you all very much. <laughs> much appreciated. I owe you one. That definitely was a garbage game. The Retro Roulette has chosen Doomsday Warrior submitted by Tot Underscore. Doomsday box. Warrior. The cover, the, the box art looks really cool. Doomsday Warrior. Let's do let's do some doomsday. Doomsday Warrior. It reminds me of the Ultimate Warrior. Normal game, easy game, versus game, or key config. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh my god, that is not what I expected the characters to look like. B is jump, Y is punch, X is kick. Okay, I guess that's fine. Exit. Normal game. You got your mister from Mr. Add-ons? Uh, that's where everybody recommended I go to. Sledge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, new form. Grimrock. Is this really loud? Plump. <laughs> Daisy. Amon. Layban. Let's just try Goku. I decide on Goku. Rival select? I really hate Daisy. <laughs> Daisy dancing plant, sledge, hero of earth. Definitely not Goku. It looks nice. Oh, the music is bad. Whoa! What is happening? <laughs> it's like a cutscene for every move. I'm gonna lose. I have no idea how she's doing that. I did one punch once. Yeah. 
Is it super loud for you guys? Do you want me to turn it down? This game is really loud on my TV. You better, you better give up for your own good. Not me. You just wait and see. I give up. I'm sorry. It is super loud, flip flops. All right, I turned down a hair. I give up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last password. Nine, 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 nine. Nice. All right, let's let's pick a different character. Maybe Sledge isn't the one for us. That's a pretty good one, isn't it, Duke? I give up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Select. Let's try. Let's try new form. Okay. New form it is. Who's our rival? Definitely not Daisy. New form hates plump. P lump. Living liquid versus fat bomber. <laughs> What's your superhero name? Fat Bomber. Whoa. He's like Glacius a little bit. Oh, he's just going to spam fire attacks at me. I, I just did a block. I'm blocking. Oh, is there a duck block? Beep. Oh, you become a oh this guy is actually terrible. His his jump attacks have no range. Oh, P Lump knows how to block too. He threw me with his hair. What? What is this, Kabuki Quantum Fighter? I do, like, no damage! Oh, this game is really hard. Very challenging. Maybe we just haven't found our character yet, right? I give up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I punching him in the butt? Hey, we got a different password that time. Who are we gonna try this? I think Amon. Uh, the, the the like ultimate or not the ultimate warrior what was that what was that tag team the demolition Wh who were they you know what i'm talking about it was like wwf legion of doom was that it these guys oh whoops i used the wrong used the wrong one all right we're gonna try this bad boy He's got to be able to lay down some hurt, right? Who do we hate? We hate Grimrock. Can't stand him. Heavy Metal King? Dizzin Lizard? What's a Dizzin? Dizzin Lizard. <laughs> That's not a word! Dizzin Lizard. Come on, Heavy Metal King. It's for a game with only like three buttons. It's actually hard. Oh, I'm stunned. We're fighting in a cave that overlooks a city. All right, we got in a hit. I don't think we're going to win against the Dizzin Lizard. Maybe if I knew how to do the moves. Oh my god, don't call it a comeback. Yeah, definitely don't. Just don't. Because <laughs> it's not. It's not one. Hey there, Silent Voice. You think it's a cool background? You've played this before, Duke? Have you ever gotten past the first character? The first opponent? Who's the worst character? New form is the worst. We should pick him as our, our rival. I think he's been the worst so far. Let's try Daisy. Okay, and new form will be our opponent. He seems terrible. All 
All right, Daisy Dancing Plant versus New Form Living Liquid. Yo, what's up, Top Boss? You added this game. Yeah, it announces it. It announced Top underscore Boss. Okay. He wants to get in close. Oh, he has lasers. I know that her secret move... Her secret move was something with a kick, right? It's a shame that the block isn't just back. I think this is the best we've ever done, though. I think that they take way less damage than you do. Don't they? They do way more damage than you do. Terrible. <laughs> oh, he's got a little fan with him, does he? Is he from Japan? All right, looks like we have time for maybe one more guy. Let's see. We'll, we'll try the Dizzin Lizard. We're going to get wrecked, but we'll go out in style. Grimrock. A. Here we go. Grimrock is going to fight. I mean, even New Form kicked our butt. New Form. I think that he is just the worst character. All right, let's do it, Grimrock. Maybe we'll find like a cheese move. Laser Pants, hello. How's it going, man? It's good to see ya. No, this guy is also terrible. <laughs> we got a hit in. His tail thing is good. Is that purple thing supposed to be the sea or a cloud? I don't know. I think it looks like clouds, but that would be weird for clouds to be on the ground like that. So I guess maybe it's like a river. Wow. He stomped me. I give up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put this game in my Super Nintendo. <laughs> Next game, please. That was quite bad. Let's go. Starting the you rented that game as a kid and it was a rough weekend. Isn't that there the worst top boss when you rent a bad from. game and you're like, oh man, I'm stuck with it all weekend. Kudu man, hello. Kudu man, you missed... Man, it was probably the funniest game I've ever played earlier when we were doing the the retro roulette uh, the mystery console. Boss. The game was just called Egg, and I was laughing so our tears were streaming down my face, and I couldn't breathe. Stargate, I like this show, Stargate. So maybe this will be good. Stargate, here we go. Nineteen ninety four. It's by acclaim. And probe. Yeah, apparently they it did, Kudu Man. Stargate. Oh, thanks, thanks for posting that, a wholesome hamster. Kudu Man, that that was the game. Start game. A fierce sandstorm has separated O'Neill from the others. He's alone in hostile territory. Alright. With the help of Daniel Jackson, the civilian archaeologist, O'Neill might find his team and return safely to Earth. O'Neill also brought a nuclear bomb to seal the Stargate. The bomb is now missing. <laughs> Good plot. Hey, we better bring a, a nuclear bomb just in case. Oh, our gun like heats up. Holy crap. 
strongest beetles in the world. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's a landmine, I guess. You know what this looks like to me a little bit? It looks like Wanda Gamelon when I played through that. Just the backgrounds and everything. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck, top boss. I appreciate it. I'm probably going to need it. Oh, if I use this, if I use this trigger, I can stand still. Is that Daniel Jackson? I think it is. I'm getting killed by buzzy bees. Daniel, Jackson, where, where are Kowalski and my men? Am I glad to see you? The team was attacked by Ra, the supernatural master of this world. The Nagadans, Ra's slaves, helped us to escape, but we left our supplies in the caves. Kowalski has led your men on ahead. Find at least five boxes of supplies for us. They're hidden in the caves. I'll organize the Nagadans. They'll help, they will rebel and help us to defeat Ra. Good idea. Let's go to work. All right. Thanks, Daniel Jackson. That must be a, a box of supplies. The enemies are, are really... Oh, gross! The enemies are <laughs> really bullet spongy. That's nasty. Throw a grenade on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that those bugs can hit you when you're inside the building. Okay, so how you stand still is you actually have to stop moving. At, oh, this, this that sounds really dumb. Uh, but you have to stop moving, then hold down the the fire button. Oh, we've missed. Or one grenade and we missed. Okay, we've got a baby one this time. <laughs> How are you supposed to hit these enemies? Why would they make such tiny enemies that you can't hit? Oh, okay, you're supposed to duck duck you're supposed to wait duck oh my god this is like this is a frustrating game do i have all the supplies for daniel jackson i like how it's hitting him sometimes oh let's go down here i guess It is like, it is like Wanda Gamelon with the movement. How do I go in this cave? Oh, there we go. It looks nice, at least. Like the animation on O'Neill. Hmm. Okay, we can't interact with that satellite. What the heck? Dude! <laughs> you know what? Just run away from everything. Don't even try to fight. You're a huge wuss. You can't even kill bugs. Oh my god, what's this? Ammo? <laughs> Why would I want ammo? It's not like I can kill any of these things anyways. Should just punch him since his arm is strong enough to pull his body up? Yeah, he's pretty strong. Just jump him. Just jump him. We're gonna die. Whoa! Do 
here we go. Do I have all the things I needed? I sure hope so. Because we're going back to Daniel Jackson. Oh, God. All right, nice job. Nice job, Jack. Do I have all the supplies? <laughs> oh, Daniel, where are you? Daniel left. How do games get picked for this? People enter them with channel points, and then I have a roulette uh, application that I've written. Freeze, old man, and it chooses one. I do not oppose you, great warrior. These are the caves Daniel spoke of. Your supplies are here. Collect them and go to Nagata. It is east of here. Look at how detailed the climbing animation is. Let's just get out. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? O'Neill, you only have five tries something. A wizard appeared? I don't remember there being wizards in Stargate. What happens if you add a game that's already on the list? It tries to resolve duplicates, but if you put in like, like not everybody spells it the same way, you know, like someone could submit Lion King and then someone submits the Lion King. And so there can be duplicates, but it really doesn't matter because uh, it just, it really just increases the chances that the game is picked by one. And there are like, people have submitted over a hundred games for this this week. So if you put in Super Troll Islands, you don't even have to do that. Um, it doesn't resolve the duplicates until I restart it. Because I, I just allow the duplicates until I restart the, the bot. Um, because I, I don't really care if it comes up twice, but the likelihood of that happening is low. Like, I don't even... I don't even remember there being a time where there was the same game chosen twice. Oh, look at that animation. You did your research and found all the trash you could, and, and you plugged them in, a wholesome hamster. Uh, and the reason that I do it that way and not on submission is that like that person uh, wants to see that game, right? Uh, so, and they may have missed it earlier. So I, I'll, I'll play it twice. I don't, I don't mind. Actually, now that I think about it, there was a time where one was picked twice, but I don't remember what game it was. And we just continued our save game, but I think that that was not for Garbage Day. That was just on a regular retro roulette. Did I play the Tick earlier? No, earlier we did a mystery console, and then we played uh, Super James Pond. Uh, and what else have we played tonight? Bubsy and um, Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> Turns out the Super Nintendo was a cesspool. That surprises me, because I didn't think that there were that many bad games for the Super Nintendo, but I guess I should have known. Like every console has its has its terrible games, right? What was the mystery console? Um, I can show you. It was the last game that we played for the mystery console was freaking hilarious. It was called Egg. A wholesome hamster posted a clip earlier. I was dying laughing like, oh my god, that scared me. The mystery console was the My Arcade plug-and-play TV game console. That's what we played for about two hours. Uh, okay, now let's spin to find out what we're going to play next, shall we? Here we go. It's time to spin. Starting the Retro Roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. There are 100 games to choose from. Uh, the more crap that gets produced for a console, the more gems they tend to have. You know, that's probably true, Kudu Man, because it's if it's got a whole bunch of gems on it, it's probably a successful console. Is that a, a bad assumption? Oh my Roulette god. has chosen James Pond 3 took no look submitted by Duke Donuts. What is... What is this? What is this called in the U.S., <laughs> Duke? 
What is two, what is James Pond three? Because there is no James Pond. It, there was Super James Pond. The GBA has a ton of good games, but it also has a ton of shovelware. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Okay. Operation Starfish. All right. Operation Starfish. Oh, I don't seem to. I don't. I don't seem to have that. Super James Pond is the Super Nintendo one specifically. It wasn't Super on Amiga. I don't. I don't see anything called Operation Starfish. If we can't find it soon, I'm just going to pick whatever I want. <laughs> it isn't super here. There is Super James Pond. We played that earlier. May have been an EU. All right. If it's called Operation Starfish, let's check. Under EU. Operation Starfish. There it is. And it's called James Pond 3 here. <laughs> if, yeah, if, if it's if it's EU, when you guys submit stuff or Jap Japanese, be sure to include it if it's not US. Like, put EU or JP or whatever. That way I, I know which where to look for it. No, it's no problem, Duke. You didn't know. All right, here we go. Was that Hitler? Let's go. Does, does the um does your torso stretch in this one too? Good luck, pond. Good luck, pond. All right, we can jump. That's it. Wait, I, I'm like putting up my dukes. Oh my god, the controls. You hold down the button to like put up your dukes and then you Then you do the D-pad to punch in a direction. Wow, he's really fast. Double the grog ra rations and keep an arm lock on that cup. I've got a feeling in my wooden leg. I'll bring you, or it'll bring you plain sailing ahead. Who's this guy? <laughs> How do I pick this stuff up? Oh. Oh, you actually... Okay, I'm carrying cheese. Wow. That's like a vertical run. How do we get up there? Do we just have to get like tons and tons of momentum? I'm taking this cheese with me. Here we go. Come on. We're not going any faster. Okay. <laughs> Cheese strats, yeah, totally, Xenorex. A moon. Okay, we collect moons. Oh my god. Okay. Can I grab these mushrooms? No. looks really nice like look at those flowers or whatever they're supposed to be bouncing around this is ridiculous can I bounce on these flowers how do I get up here <laughs> Can I look up? Look down? If you try to jump up it, it just makes you slide off. You might have to run up it. Like, do I need way more speed? All right. We got to get way more speed. Here we go. <laughs> all right, all right, we failed. Is there a run button? I don't think so. I could try it again. There's jump, 
Oh, yes, there is a run button. That that's that's the ticket. That's it. Okay. We can run. We figured out we can run. We're going to take this dynamite with us. Oh, it's get rid of that. Get the cheese. Taking the cheese to the exit. This is no ordinary exit pond. It is one of maybe's communication beacons. Deactivate it before continuing your mission. How do I get out of this? Start. No, it's mine. Get out of here. Oh, I killed that mouse. I just fought a fist fought a mouse over a block of cheese. Do I have to punch it? Oh, I did it. Enemy fatalities. <laughs> I really like the choice of words there. Enemy fatalities. <laughs> All right, where are we going next? The east, east of Edom. We're in. So when you vote something as treasure or trash, what that does is it ensures that it might get picked on a future. Oh, Chris. Chris sniped it. Chris waited until the timer was just under five minutes and then sniped it. All right. Uh, that ensures that it might get picked on uh, future Garbage Day streams. So here we go. Spin. Duke Donuts and Top Boss coming up a lot tonight. Starting the retro roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. There are 99 games to choose from. Can't believe we got both of them. That means that we're destined to get Super Troll Island, right? The retro roulette has chosen... Sime art submitted by Todd underscore boss. <laughs> what is it? Sime art? <laughs> Sim Earth. Sim Earth. The lit. Sime art. <laughs> Here we go. Sim. Sime art. Maxis made this and will write. This has got to be good, right? Whoa, that was loud. That is a really loud sound effect. First scenario, random planet, daisy world, dictionary. Backup initialize. What? Let's do a random planet. Unlimited, easy, normal. Let's do easy. Geologic time, evolution time. What's the best time? <laughs> Which is the best time? How many top bo boss picks has it been? Like three, I think, House of Mule. He submitted a lot this week uh, while I was playing Arena. Uh, let's try Geologic Time. Random Planet. Let's select a new planet, which you will mold into Earth, then develop this planet to present day. The Dawn of Gaia. 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth was formed. At that time, the Earth was covered by lava. When the lava cooled, the moisture in the air became rain. Soon after, okay, I guess you didn't want to hear it and want me to read Earth's backstory. Okay, this must be lava. So what do we do? Altitude, low altitude. Oh, this is high altitude. It's cooling. I'm pushing buttons, but none of them do anything. <laughs> none of the buttons do anything. Start. Oh! Map mode, edit mode, globe mode. Select. Rock. Okay. But, uh, life form, terraformer, biome. We've placed the biome.
What does that do for us, though? Okay, select seems to zoom in and out. Uh, O2 generator. Let's generate some oxygen. And um, what else do we want? We want to... Vapor. Let's do some vapor here. Okay. And uh, an ice meteor. An ice meteor is going to impact right here. Oh, I just destroyed my own stuff. Crap. I thought it would be far enough away. <laughs> People demand a stadium. Well, let's rebuild all of our stuff then. Biome. Right in the middle of the impact. We will... Generate oxygen for sure. We will... Generate everything, actually. Do they need power? Like, what am I putting down? A monolith. Not possible to place it here. I can't place a monolith. Uh, CO2, sure. All right, we're generating everything, right? Now let's put down... Oh, we're getting water! Oh my god, we've made water! That's exciting. Is that stuff all going to get washed away? Life form. Sea life. Let's put it in bacteria. Birth of life. A new life form has been born in the ocean. You must develop its simple structure to the multicellular level in order to move to the next level. How do we do that? There it is! Our bacteria! Okay, we don't need any more of that crap. Event. A nuclear bomb and e quake or the plague? Ground. Raise and lower the ground. Examine. Let's examine our bacteria. Ocean bacteria, two of 16. They have no civilization. Nuke the world when time is up. Bacteria has been born. We've created bacteria. <laughs> life form, land life. <laughs> mammals, we'll just go straight to mammals. Tricordates. Not allowed to do this in this time. Can we make an amoeba? We got an amoeba. Amoeba has been born. We're creating life. Let's make a starfish. Oh, we can't. Just amoebas and bacteria. What era do we form blebs? <laughs> Bleebs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was so freaking funny. Do we need to do events? Tidal? Will this kill our amoeba? If we do a tidal wave? Is everything drying up? A storm. It's gonna rain so hard. Oh, I think it's everything's drying up. We've got more bacteria. We must be doing something right. And we have very little water. Oh, the bacteria just ate the amoeba. Oh crap, sorry about that storm. Let's put the amoeba like next to land. There. Oh, did we just beach him then, Quacksplat? It's just the tides, you think? The bacteria are, are killing it right now.
What if I hit select? What does our world look like? Oh, we have water everywhere. Cool. That's pretty neat. Can I just keep... Oh, I don't have enough energy to do this. I can't keep adding amoebas. No. Where's my energy? Let's examine him. It's one amoeba. There's a tidal wave. And a meteor. Uh-oh, you're going to dry up, amoeba. You're on land. Will you evolve? No, you'll die. How fast is the game going? Do I have any control over that? I have no idea. <laughs> Can we make grass? No. Maybe I should have added some grass to prevent erosion. Passage of time? Where did you see that? Did you see that in the menu somewhere? Civilize. We're, how are we generating energy? What is generating our, our energy? Our bacteria? All right, let's add a grass. Oh, it's, it's 50. Okay, I don't have 50. I have 30. So I have 30 out of 50. It's just weird the way that it's laid out. You smoked the grass once? How did you survive, Quacksplat? I really... How much does it cost for an amoeba, then? A hundred? Oh, my God. Amoebas are expensive. You didn't? I knew it. It's an instant death. It's instantly fatal, just like ankle-deep lava. You need a certain number of generators to do certain things. So what do we want lots of, then, for bacteria and amoebas? It seems like we're getting lots more water. Okay, if you hold down the triggers, or the shoulder buttons, they're not exactly triggers on the Super Nintendo controller. It, like, scrolls. Do we want a grass or amoeba? I feel like the grass will just die instantly, and then it's like, okay, that was great. <laughs> but the amoebas have proven that they'll just die instantly. Let's make a grass. Uh, what was it? Biome. Maybe a swamp will do better here, because it's all watery. One swamp, please. All right, now let's watch. The swamp and its natural habitat. The swamp. Will it spread? Let's examine it. <laughs> no life. This swamp has no life. We've got... Okay, we got bacteria going way up there. What's this? Oh, I missed. I can't examine. It costs five energy to examine. It looks like we have a new life form forming here. It's just more bacteria. It's just different bacteria, I guess. Why would they make examining cost energy? That's not cool. And then we just sit here. Start. Oh, 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 look. We can do... We're on fast. Okay, start is where we can manipulate the time. So we've evolved into different bacteria. Gray bacteria. Uh, we got some, like, light green bacteria, some dark green bacteria. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die here. Is our swamp gone? No, our swamp is still there. So our swamp is preventing erosion, maybe. I don't know if it's that complex, if it actually has that level of um, complexity. The bacteria seem to be surviving here just fine. Why does the energy go up so slow? <laughs> we have bacteria by our generators. 
It's kind of a shame that I bombed my own stuff now, knowing that we need energy. Uh, and that I probably spent energy to create those. And immediately killed everything. Is that Arctic? Has our swamp spread yet? No. Am I creating ancient diseases? I'm creating a primordial soup down here. Yay. Oh my gosh, Top Boss! Thanks for subbing, Top Boss. You're gonna get a box art in the background. Thanks so much. And thanks so much for all your submissions for the garbage day as well. You you put in a lot of legwork this week on the garbage day. Can I tell? What is ground? Oh, I just raise and lower the ground. I can't tell, like, what the, um... Let's make some... Oh, we can't afford grass. Can I afford, afford terraformer? Like, what does this do? The biome. I don't understand what the biome does. It costs 500? Wow, we went through a lot of energy just to destroy it all. We've, like, put ourselves on super hard mode, basically. Well, it seems that our bacteria are thriving. That's a good thing, I suppose. Maybe the amoebas can live now. Maybe the amoebas need bacteria to feed on. Maybe that's why everything was going bad. <laughs> Regular energy squat. Oh, our, our swamp is gone. Okay, so I guess it doesn't prevent erosion. And our water's drying up. What's happening to my planet? Everything's evaporating. Oh my god, we're losing water! Uh... Oh no, my bacteria! What happened? What upset the balance? Let's get an amoeba. Maybe they can turn the tide somehow. <laughs> I don't know how! Amoeba! Oh, it's a hundred. We gotta wait for like a billion years to get an amoeba. I think all of our bacteria is gonna dry up and die though, because our water's disappearing. Yeah, for sure. There's still a lot over here though. Is there bat will the bacteria like spread this far? Oh hey, they did! They're all over the world now. Oh, there's an earthquake. Maybe the amoeba will like it better here. I feel like this is the type of game that you really need the manual uh, to even know what the heck you're doing. Is that the very top of the earth? Oh. Yeah, I think it was. So bacteria is all over the world good where are our biomes uh you scrooge thanks for the follow i appreciate it hope you're having a good fantastic friday a good fantastic i'm gonna plot i'm gonna plop this down once i have energy <laughs> Why is this game on Garbage Day? It's honestly pretty good. Well, I think that a lot of garbage is kind of in the eye of the beholder, right? Uh, so not everybody likes it, but it was a submission, Xenorax. I could see myself playing this and just like chilling and hanging out, you know, and playing Yay. some... Oh, Kudu Man! Kudu Man, you're going to get a box too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's really, really kind of you to subscribe. I appreciate it. Hello, loading personality. How you doing tonight? How's your Friday going? Savior Gabriel 81 thanks for the follow. Wow, that's all of a sudden lots of follows. <laughs> lots of subs. Uh, if it was more robust simulation that actually produced interesting results, it might be better. It, it could just be the way that I'm playing it, Duke. Like, if you know what you're doing, you know, uh, maybe it's... It, but, like, for me, it's I'm just sitting here a lot. It's garbage when you're 11 and rent it and it came with no manual. <laughs> so we're getting the top boss as an 11 year old experience right now. We're, we're fully getting to appreciate top boss's childhood. 
There are two plays to play. The one how I'm doing it, and then, like, the right way. <laughs> I feel like this amoeba is going to be a huge waste. What if I put it right on a bacteria? Oh, is this ocean drying up, too? It just... Maybe it just shifts. Maybe we're on such a... We're working on such a time scale that the that it just shifts a lot, you know? We're almost there, you guys. <laughs> Only a hundred million years to put down this amoeba. I think I'm gonna put it on one of the gray amoeba or on the gray bacterias. And maybe the amoeba will eat the bacteria and then flourish. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe our temperature is not right or something. Like, what do I... What is this? Oh, okay. oh! Atmosphere! Let's check our atmosphere. 55% nitrogen? Why is the scale is all weird? I think we need more oxygen. That's what we need. We need more oxygen. Oh no! The water destroyed our stuff! Oh, freak. You know what? I think we should restart somehow. How do we restart? Quit. Alright, we're gonna restart. We're gonna restart, and this time we're not going to ice meteor ourselves. Okay? And maybe we can get... So we need more than one oxygen generator, I think. As well. So hopefully I can get through this. I know there's only five minutes left, but I want to actually, like... Easy. Geologic time. Random planet. Let's go. I'm pressing all the buttons and it's not doing anything. Okay, thanks. We're not gonna... We're not gonna destroy our own stuff. Let's see how much energy we start with. We start with 5,000, so that was on me. Let's go look at the lava. What? That's not lava. Oh wait, that's the altitude. This is high. This is high altitude, right? Sim Earth permadeath stream? Yeah, I would totally play this, Kudu Man, on stream. Uh, and just have a nice, relaxing Sim Earth stream? I would totally do that sometime. Yeah, this is high altitude. Let's get in here and start building our stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a great place, I can already tell. I totally know what I'm talking- Oh, Super Derf! You son of a gun. That's Sim Earth. Oh, man, I was actually getting excited about that. <laughs> he killed it. He killed Sim Earth. You monster. All right, let's see what we're playing next, shall we? Let's go. Those are the rules. The rules are rules. Yeah, we're going to save for the permadeath Guardian stream, Kudu Man. Left for garbage day on the SNES. There are 99 games to choose from. 99 games to choose from. What are we going to get this time? If the game doesn't actually exist, if someone just put it in to be funny, I'm going to pick whatever I want. The retro Lord of the Ring? Chosen. Lord of the Rings Volume 1 submitted by Todd underscore boss. This is not a... Is this a game? I don't... This is a real one? Is it Europe only? Does it have an alternate name? I need to know if it has an alternate name. It's J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Okay. J.R.R. Tolkien. I didn't even know that this was a game. Yes, there it is. Oh my God. Wow, I had, I've never even heard of this. Licensed by Nintendo. It's not great. Oh, so don't get our hopes up. Interplay. Didn't they make Clay Fighters? I think Interplay made Clay Fighters. 
This is nice. Book one, chapter one. The Hobbit folk lived in peace in the quiet town of Hobbiton. Frodo Baggins lived unaware of the danger that surrounded the magic ring he inherited from his uncle Bilbo. It was in the evening on a warm spring day. Is this just like a virtual, like a book? <laughs> Let's skip it. We all know the story. Whoa! Bilbo Baggins, my dear people, my dear Bagginses and Boffins and my dear Tooks and Brandy Bucks and Grubs and Chubs. Today is my 111th birthday. I am 111 today. Hooray, hooray, many happy returns. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves as much as I am. I shall not keep you long. I've called you all together for a purpose, indeed. For their, for three purposes. First of all, to tell you that I am immensely fond of you all and that 111 years is too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. Secondly, oh my god, to celebrate my birthday, I should say our birthday, for it is, of course, also the birthday of my heir and nephew, Frodo. He comes of age and into his inheritance today. Thirdly and finally, I wish to make an announcement. I regret to announce that though, as I said, 111 years is far too short a time to spend with you. This is the end. I'm going. I am leaving now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so abrupt. Hello, Gandalf. Hello, Frodo. The time has come for me to leave the Shire. I want to see the wild country one last time. I agree that it is time for... I agree that it is time for you to leave, leave Bilbo. It is also time for me to make a journey of my own. But before I go, Bilbo, you must promise me that you will leave your ring in the hands of young Frodo. It is very important that the ring makes the journey to Rivendell. Bilbo is too old to protect the ring from those that wish to possess it. It is up to you, Frodo. You must take the ring to the Council of Elrond in Rivendell. It is a long journey to make. Will you be there to help me, period? <laughs> I cannot join you now, but if you cross the River Brandywine, you'll find the town of Bree. I will meet you there at the Prancing Pony Inn. You would best be served to gain the help of some close friends. You will need much help on your quest to Rivendell. Well, good luck, Frodo Baggins. Guard the ring well on your journey. Remember, it is not to be used for the servants of Sauron. We'll find you for sure. Goodbye. Kanoth's got a strut, doesn't he? I will miss you, Bilbo. I wish you well on your journeys. It is, it is your journey that is important, my young nephew. There are many dangers that lie ahead for you. Now I must go. Before you leave Hobbiton, you should find your friends Sam, Mary, and Pippin. They would be good company on your long trip. Oh, wait, Bilbo. What about the ring? Funny, I almost forgot to give it to you. It is very hard to part with it. Here you go, Frodo. May it serve you well. Thank you, Bilbo. Goodbye. Goodbye. The Lord of the Rings. Oh my God, that was. <laughs> what are options? That was just to get to the title. Sound music stereo done. Looks good to me. Start. Here we go. Finally starting the game. Maybe. Oh boy, okay, it's super delay attack. You got like a block. You do not have an item equipped at this time. You, okay, how do I knock on the door? I guess I don't. I'm gonna accidentally stab somebody. Hello, Frodo, Sam was looking for you. I think he's nearby. This is old gaffer Ganji. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. Wheeze. Legends say that the caves around Hobbiton may have hidden treasure. It is said that there may even be a power book that will give you great knowledge. A power book. This is a very, like, peaceful game. Old Rory Brandy Buck. 
Here is some news from the east. The dark shadow of a man has been lurking by the bridge to the river Brandywine. He's looking for a young hobbit, and he means him great harm. How do you even know that? Uh, I have heard that the roads are no longer safe to travel. Try not to encounter any strangers on your journey. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mary Brandybuck has gone south to Crick Hollow. He won't be returning, but you might meet him there. Okay, is that where you have to go south, I guess? I saw Pippin leave a while ago. I wouldn't go after him. There are wolves on the plains. I, I can hear one of the dogs is getting in trouble right now. Flip Flops is yelling at him. Hey, are you a hobbit? It's Sam. Gaffer sent me to find his lost reading glasses. I can't leave Hobbiton until I find him. If you will help me find them, I can go on with you on your journey. Okay, we got to find some glasses. Uh, maybe the glasses aren't even in the city, though. You remember the fetch quests from the book, Duke? Me too. It's kind of like one long escort quest. Whoa, the wolf looks cool. The wolf looks really cool. When will this wolf give up? Oh my god. I think we're gonna die. I think Frodo's gonna die. Okay, we kill the wolf. And that's how Frodo's journey ends. He was eaten by wolves. The end. Short book. It doesn't seem... So oh, hello! Hello, Frodo. I'm very glad to see you. There are wolves all around, and I was afraid to go across the plains by myself. Well, how did you get out here then? Join me. Or die! Do I have to kill the wolves so he'll leave? Maybe that's it. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Ooh! You have to time the sword. Because it's got about a, a thousand frames of animation. Come here, wolf. You're scaring our friend. He doesn't seem that scared, though, right now. <laughs> He's just letting you run around him. No? Still still too scared? There must be more wolves around here. Two of nine? Can I climb this? Nope. It looks climbable, though. Okay, there, there is another wolf. This seems like a very slow paced game. It has very nice animation though. So it's got that going for it. Any more wolves? I don't see any more, so maybe he'll join us now if all the wolves are gone. Oh, no, there's a wolf. Do you, like, level up? Can I become a level 2 hobbit? It only gets worse. What's cool about this is that it's multiplayer with multi-tap, but you can't play multiplayer until, like, 30 minutes in. And it has permadeath for players 2 to 4. Oh, my God. All right, are you ready to join me now? The wolves are dead. Thank you, Frodo. I feel much better now. I think I would like to join you on your quest now. Come on, then. Oh, here we go. I don't know how much help he's going to be. He was afraid of some stupid wolves. I bet you the pathing in this game is interesting with your friends okay so now let's go this way
It's a really boring game by yourself. What makes it so boring? Just that it's slow paced, top boss? Like it is it is pretty slow paced. Rob Baker. The evil forces of Mordor have been seen in these caves for the first time in millennium. If you venture too far into the caves, you may find more than just bats and snakes. Good to know. I wonder if this hobbit will help me fight. You fight a lot of wolves. Ooh, there's a cave. We're going in. 100% we're going in. Like, what is that 4 out of 11? Is that my health? Can I switch characters? Oh my god! Okay, if you hold the right trigger, you can control the... the... this guy. The this guy. Ooh, nice. What is in the bag? I found a letter. It reads... Dear Mr. Butterbur, because I'm afraid of the river, I do not wish to cross it by using the ferry to the south. I will instead be traveling to the north to use the old bridge. Sincerely, Simon Templar. Okay, we got a letter. Maybe somebody in the village wants this letter? Oh, baloney! <laughs> What a load of horse baloney. Look, even the other the other character. <laughs> no, you're gonna die, dude. Defend yourself. I can see I'm gonna have to do everything in this quest. Okay, let's go in this cave. What do we got? It's like loading. Look at this. <laughs> I used to play in these caves when I was young. I remember that there were many ways in and out of them. I found a map. Map A, entrance three. I see a bat. Hmm. Select. Okay, what does select do? Frodo Baggins, old dagger, cloth cloak. Pippin Took. He has the same stuff. And I guess that's that's it. Wait, did that say my health? Yeah, I have three out of eleven health. Yikes. How do you heal? This looks scary. Okay, I guess it's nothing. Snake. Yeah, this guy, our partner, is just oblivious to anything. I found some moss. I don't even know how to use items, though. Oh, I think that the moss healed me. I have six health now. Or maybe I leveled up. Oh my god, where are you going, dude? Dude, where are you going? <laughs> I didn't even know you could walk over here. I thought he was glitching out. I love how he attacks like 10 years later. The snake's already dead, and he's like, yeah! Okay, we got another snake. We've lost our friend. Is that really that big of a deal? <laughs> no, there he is! I wonder what we're going to find in these caves. Likely nothing. Or our doom. Oh my god. Wow, look at the animation on this guy.
I found a fern! How do we use the items, though? I see that there's a bag on this screen, but, like... None of the buttons do anything when you're there. Your password is... <laughs> the worst password ever! Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep doing that. Wow. That is like, that is probably the worst password I've ever seen. Where you have to write down the number of spaces. Is this a door? No. No! Am I playing Daggerfall on Monday? I actually, I plan on playing another DOS game. Um, I, I do plan on playing Daggerfall at some time, but I'm gonna play another, a, a, a more different -y DOS game first. And I don't know, I don't think it's, it's nearly as long as like Daggerfall or Arena. I was actually testing it today to make sure that it would work. It's one of those DOS games that... Well, I don't even know if it's a DOS game, actually. It, I, I don't think it is. But it's one of those games that makes your... I don't know if any of you have this problem, but, like, it makes all your resolutions on all your monitors and everything go all crazy. It's one of those... One of those games, whatever that is. It's like you open it up, like you'll start the program and then like whatever was just on your desktop and the monitor you're working on, all of a sudden it's like off to the right. I don't think it is, Xenorex, I don't think it is a DOS game, but it's an older, I guess it's just an older PC game. It, it came out in 2006, so uh, uh, folks here earlier were saying 2006 isn't even retro, but it's old. I found a mushroom. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know how to use this stuff. Maybe we'll find that guy's glasses down here. Oh, I didn't even see this before. Another mushroom. Uh, any hints to guess? Uh, let me see. The what's uh, I've never played through the whole game. Uh, the you, you, I guess the best clue is just that it came out in two thousand six, and it's a it's a PC game. It was not. It's not a DOS game. It doesn't run in DOS box or anything. It, you can buy it on Steam. I, I, I have a couple of clues I could give about it, but it would basically, I think it would give it away, like, easily. I'm trying to think of who made it. I can't remember off the top of my head who made it. All right, that guy left. I just really want out of this cave. <laughs> There's like not even any music or anything. It's just the sound of the wind. I guess that's pretty atmospheric though. Was this the exit? I feel like this was maybe the exit this way. No, <laughs> it's just a big fat dead end. Our friend has gone off and gotten himself killed, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> well, there's 
the the Lord of the Rings game that I never even knew existed. Interesting. Let's see what we're gonna get next. Starting the retro roulette for garbage day on the SNES. There are 100 games to choose from. You want it out of the cave? You got it? Yeah. I, that's another laid back kind of a game though. I could totally see myself playing that like late at night or something. I don't know. I say that a lot about a lot of games though. Just like... The retro oh my goodness. has chosen Ren and Stimpy. Fire dog submitted by Tot underscore boss. Tot boss? It's the Tot boss show. <laughs> the Ren and Stimpy show Fire Dogs. Here we go. You would happily watch someone play it, but you wouldn't play it yourself. Did anybody actually watch Ren, Whoa. Ren and Stimpy when you were younger? The Ren and Stimpy show. Aren't all the Ren and Stimpy games terrible? You did. I did too, Corgi Dan. You loved Ren and Stimpy. Fire dogs. Here we go. We're getting in. Fire Station Monday. Okay. We're Stimpy. What can we do? We can jump? That's it. We can jump. Do I want to get in that water? Uh... I pressed the switch. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Hello, hello, sir. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Do I have to collect? I have to collect things and put them on this. Oh, okay. Fire. Okay, switch the flip the switch. How do I go up the stairs? I got something. Oh my god, <laughs> this is pretty terrible. <laughs> you move so slowly. Why is he doing the I need to pee walk? He he walked like that. Why is his nose all speckled? Do you see that? His nose is all like weird. Weirdly speckled. Well, we're dead. I can't get away from this guy. <laughs> oh. Let's just go. Go, 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 go. As fast as you can. Okay, we got something. Let's go back down. It's not one of the items for the fire truck, though. So what is that thing I picked up? A beaver? Great. Here he comes. Just run away from him. Here he comes. Just run, Stimpy. Is there, there's Ren. What's he doing? Okay, we got a fire hat. Ooh! We're dead. This is awful. This game is like, it's bad and it's, it's bad in the worst way. It's also boring. <laughs> not, not much. Not many redeeming qualities about this one. There, 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 there. We got something. Let's go turn this back into the fire truck, I guess. He's going to murder me. Oh, I sprayed him. Okay, we have a weapon now. It's so weird. Like, it, things appear at random. 
Like, we never had a weapon. <laughs> I don't even care. The rope! Or the hose. Whatever. Sir, I need this. Well... Awful. Awful game. I've had it up to here with you guys. The graphics do look like Ren and Stimpy, though. Like, they they definitely resemble their characters. Score. 0. 0.0. <laughs> I think that that's the game's fault, not my fault. Or password. Let's <laughs> log. Oh my god. <laughs> Next game. Ooh. Quite terrible. Starting the retro roulette for garbage. Magashi Sama, you played that before? There what have I what was I doing wrong? The idea of a face for a password is funny. Is that what it was? A face? The retro roulette has chosen Dragon, the Bruce Lee story submitted by Tot underscore boss. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. How many games did you submit? 99 games, Tot boss. <laughs> you rented this? Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's it's a diamond in the rough. Okay. One player story game. The Lantern Festival 1961. I want to dance with her. This one is mine. Get one of your own. What? She is one of my own. Whoa, whoa. It's a... F okay. We're fighting a sailor. Whoa, he's got weapons. Come on. Come on, Bruce. Hey, that was pretty good. Sweep the leg. Okay, okay, we're messing him up. Ooh! Uh-oh, we're stunned. I don't know how to block. I can do like a back. Is it just back? <laughs> You've got to stop blocking at some point. I feel like I've done the way more impressive moves than he has. We should get style points or something. Uh-oh. This is like the longest street fight in history. We're just flipping all over the place. Well, we killed Bruce Lee. You feel like this is the complete antithesis of Bruce Lee's philosophy? I think you might be right, mysterious loner. <laughs> it's like a slow
slap fight. Come on. Show him what's up. Get up! <laughs> All right, we put, we we did we put a hurting on him there. If I would stop flipping all over the place. <laughs> I don't know what's flipping me out. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Crap! The throw was awesome! For one brief moment, I felt like I was actually Bruce Lee. <laughs> For one shining moment. And now we're gonna get smoked. He's just gonna keep hitting me with this chain. Oh, come on! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right, well, there's Bruce Lee, Dragon Bruce Lee story. The fights, we, we're we in the same fight. The fights are so long. The fight was five minutes long. Holy cow. One fight the whole time. <laughs> I think that'll be added to the next game, Starting the retro Al. roulette for garbage day on the SNES. All right, what's next? There are 99 games to choose I from. I feel bad. Uh, you know what? It explains a lot about how Top Boss became the person that he is today. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the second guy, Top Boss? All these games have, have shaped Top Boss. The Retro Roulette has chosen Spider-Man and the X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Spider-Man and the X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Holy cow, and it was not... That's not a Top Boss game. It's like one of the few today. Look at Gambit. <laughs> Gambit's like, who are these people? Uh, above the city streets. I just hope I'm not too late. Listen to this music. First Cyclops, then Storm and Wolverine. Gambit, look out. Gers fling. <laughs> I know that truck. Arcade, I have to go after them. The lives of the X-Men depend on me. Get ready, Spider-Man. His head looks a little derpy. Spider-Sense. My spider-senses are tingling. Whoa, whoa! Is it this thing that my spider-senses are tingling about? Can't climb on the ceiling, Spider-Man. Hey, Melanders, doing good. How you doing today? Maybe I'm supposed to fight this thing. Nice job, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh. Okay, you're meant to collect bombs all across the stage, but in a specific order. Okay, and that's what those little those little things are, I guess. Those blue things, spider sense, down. 
My spider senses are dingling. You got automated for saying dingling. That's hilarious. Okay. Where's my spider sense? It's not telling me where the next bomb is. Maybe there's a spider sense button. No. I wish I could just get that. <laughs> Maybe I gotta do it from further back. What's the deal? Is he going, ooh. Oh, here we go. All right, we got it. This is a sad game. It is. It actually is kind of a sad game, isn't it? What? <laughs> Like, look how Spider-Man falls. He falls like just a guy doing a, a cannonball into a pool. There we go. We made it. We made the impossible jump. Okay, we're going to have to do it again. God, can you imagine the people that made this? Like, yeah, yeah, this is a great superhero game. And it's just like... <laughs> it's like I'm an Amiga game again. What? There's like a secret pixel that you have to hit to make that swing, apparently. Oh! <laughs> Timmy's first Spider-Man. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I was doing something different with the controller that time or what. Oh, our spider sense was tingling back here. He looked like Spooderman, Kudu Man, <laughs> Spooderman and Kudu Man. He did in the in the beginning when it showed his like little character portrait. Er All right. Get off the wall. The music's pretty snappy, though. I just want over there, robot. You want me to play the game or not? <laughs> oh, crap. It's below us. His spider sense sounds like a bad sounds like a bad case of mud butt. Oh, we we got we're on the right track. And now this one is all the way over there. This is just like <laughs> atrocious. That run is so Spider-Man. That's exactly how I picture him running. <laughs> there he is. Look at his head. Do I have to collect all of these again? Oh my God. We have to collect all the bombs again. Okay, nice job. And they're in the most frustrating order, of course. They're not like in any kind of order that makes sense.
Is it a play bad games night tonight? Yeah, the, we're, the, it's called Garbage Day, Melanders, where we just play... People submit bad games, and we play bad games all day. We had one game on the mystery console earlier that was so freaking funny that I just about died laughing. I had tears streaming down my face, and I couldn't breathe. The game was called Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking egg. <laughs> I want my bleep! <laughs> my bleep! That's when I died. The bleep killed me. A bleep! Oh my god, that was so freaking funny. Uh, an NES game? Well, tonight it's us. We're doing Super Nintendo Garbage Garbage Day games. Yeah, there's the clip. Bet you didn't know houses came from eggs. Let's go all the way down. I can't... Okay. I can. Crap. Dude, I don't think I've ever... A wholesome hamster? I don't think I've ever laughed that hard on stream, ever. Even Ernest Evans didn't make me laugh that much. And er Ernest Evans was really funny. Oh, do I have to go all the way up and around? Yep. Maybe... Oh, nice. Egg was the best game of, of, the, of the mystery console. It was fantastic. I don't even want to go get the bomb, really. <laughs> 12 out of 10, would egg again. That's, that's the whole reason why I like to play those mystery consoles, because every so often you find something that's so ridiculous uh, that it's, it's just like, I don't know, I'll probably remember egg forever. <laughs> Yeah, I think egg was the was the tops. A wholesome hamster, I agree. Oh my gosh, we're saved. We're saved from Spider-Man. This game is just bland. Ugh. All right. And then there's the didn't work three stars on yes. <laughs> Center X the true hero. All right, we've got time for one more game tonight. One more. I hope it's a good a good bad one. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get tonight for the final game of Garbage Day? Let's find out. Starting the retro roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. I think I see Bubsy there are two in there. Games to choose from. Lawnmower Man. Yeah, I definitely see Lawnmower Man. Simpsons. Troll Island. I saw for a split second. Retro That's not has chosen attack of killer tomato submitted by lunch under. I don't think that this is a Super Nintendo game. I think it's an NES game. <laughs> we'll see though. Yeah, this was not on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, Space Ace is up there too. Let's let's. I don't know what's gonna happen if I spin again. Uh, it might add a whole bunch of time, so I'm going to have to subtract all the time until we're at 10 minutes. Starting the retro roulette for Garbage Day on the SNES. There are 97 games to choose from. Down under 100. I'm, I'm impressed that we got under 100 tonight. We actually took off a pretty big chunk of games. Oh my god. The retro roulette has chosen... Balt's 3D submitted by Cobra Director. 
A truly garbage game indeed. Balls 3D fighting at its ballsiest. This the people who developed this game should be ashamed of themselves. Seriously. Uh oh, we've got the right amount of time. Are we going to get the terrible balls music? Whoa. <laughs> Oh my God, seizure vision. I can't skip it. Is it broken? Is it, is it, maybe it's broken. I can't skip it. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if I can do this again. Sorry, it seems to me, I mean, this might be broken. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try one other game uh because i didn't get to play that one what is it gonna be the actual last game of the night starting the retro roulette for garbage day on the snes there let's see what we get games to choose from down to 96 I see Camel Tree. The retro stunt race. Stunt <laughs> race low FPS submitted by Housey Mule. <laughs> low F I love that. Stunt race low FPS. It is. Uh, stunt race FX. Here we go. I actually, I rented this as a kid. Uh, and I thought it was cool back then. Stunt race effects. I think the last time we played this, uh, it got voted out. What, we want speed tracks, stunt tracks, battle tracks. Let's do speed tracks. We'll go with the truck. Look, it's strong and fast. Put, and put your name. Bah. <laughs> novice. We're doing novice. Here we go. Oh. Blast processing. Oh, I'm going to reverse. I think you can like, oh God. I think you can like jump in this game. What did I pick up? Oh, I have boost too. Whoop. Oh no, it took a little damage. How do I jump? There it is. Look, there's a picture of Mario in the background. I'm not sure how we use the boost. Oh, there we go. I found it. We're boosting. Yeah, go! How did he catch up with me when I was boosting? <laughs> the lunch bucket, we played it earlier. Uh, me, mom, and your nephew played it, and flip flops. You think I'm dropping frames? It's intentional. It's a design, it's a design choice. I'm gonna win. I'm actually super good at stunt race, apparently. Didn't know I was. Oh no, I'm not gonna win. <laughs> the hubris. We're still in it. If we can just kill this guy. 
<laughs> Maybe we can do it. We win! It hurts to look at. Is it making you sick? The big bezel makes it look like it's a computer game. I think that they had to do that, right? To, low, to decrease the rendering area. All right, nice job. Push start. I assume this is a different track. Floor it. Oh my God, is that a dolphin? There's dolphins in this game. <laughs> Just a couple polygons. Whoa, I'm getting a little out of control. kind of cool level we're racing underwater they're really showing off what the the Super Nintendo could do with this game how, how am I in second I've been racing my heart out It looks like they really tried. Yeah, they added some cool stuff. They just couldn't get the, the FPS any better. Oh, this is probably at like what? What is this, like 10 FPS? I wonder if anybody's ever actually counted the frames. Oh God, we just got destroyed. We're the truck, though, so we can take a lot of hits. Was Star Fox like this, too? It's been a while since I played Star Fox. I don't remember it being so low frame rate, though. I remember it being a little, a little framey. Is that even a term? I just made it up. It's too framey. <laughs> Maximum speed, crash him into the wall. Yes. <laughs> I played this like I played Mario Kart. Child, dad, make me a sandwich. Dad, you're a sandwich. Oh my god, that's not even a joke. That's not even a joke. That's probably one of the worst ones I've ever heard out of Quebot. Yes! Our undefeated streak continues. You don't really feel feel comfortable calling this straight up trash because it's because you could tell that they really tried and it's got personality too, right? Like they've got little cars with eyes and they like kind of break apart when they run into the wall, you know. Uh, extra time, extra car, play. We got a bonus. What is this? Am I this? I'm driving the big, big truck? Oh my God. <laughs> we are gonna crash this thing so hard. Oh my God, it controls like you would think. I can't turn! Come on, I kind of went through that one. You gotta give it to me. This thing has boost. <laughs> no! 
No! <laughs> Boost the truck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. We got some extra time, but no laps. Sunset Valley. Here we go. Oh, the category is animals for question number two. A Flemish giant is another name for what animal? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we've had that one before. I think I've only got about uh, maybe two, three hundred questions in there. So they do get repeated, especially if like they don't repeat in the same stream, but they'll repeat between streams, if that makes sense. That was cool. Yeah, we got this one last time too, actually. Same one. Whoa. Oh, I actually hit that rock. Go, go, go. There's somebody right behind me. Hit the cones. You could remember Kudu Man, aw. Whoa. The truck can really take a lot of damage. Yeah, it, it began with an E. You're absolutely right. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> there were like some two FPS horses that just ran across the screen. Oh, wow. We, we're one hit from death. We're one hit from death. I don't know what those little whoa, medicine bottles give us. Okay, one life. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> Why is the gorilla wearing glasses? <sighs> oh, boy. Here we go. Big monkey jump. Nope. Didn't get it. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> We lost the race on the last turn. Man, that's an old clip. That's from when I first started streaming. Holy cow, September 27th, 2019. Yeah, that's really close to when I first started streaming. Oh, and that clip, that clip had the Gladiator game in it. Oh, October. Yeah, thanks. So that was about, I want to say a, like a month and a half after I started streaming. We're on the final race. Woo! Look at Nintendo's got their name all over this game. I saw a picture of Mario in the first stage. Hey, Cobra Director. I think we played one of your games, Cobra Director. What was it? What was it that Cobra Director? Oh, we didn't even get to play it. It was balls. Uh, but the game went, had like an epileptic fit, and then uh, everybody voted voted the time away. <laughs> Oh, there's Star Fox right there, and Kirby! Every 
everybody who voted time away actually kind of saved my butt because what what would we have done if the game just didn't work? Just sit here for 10 minutes? I feel like I'm actually getting a little bit better at this. Oh, don't do the thing again. Boost! We're maxing out our speed and we still have a dude right on our tail. What is the name of the orange ghost in Pac-Man? That should be pretty easy. Final lap. Okay, final lap. Here we go. Can we hang on for the championship? Oh my god, why? Oh no, what happened? <laughs> I've exploded the truck! Oh my god, why does a disaster always happen at the very last second? Come on, keep it together. Gun it! Here we go. Good turn, good turn. Now gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Yes! The class is clear. Easy Ride 216, Aqua Tunnel 251.34. What do we get? Do we get like a trophy? You wonder what happened with the development of this game? In what way, House of Mule? And. Night Owl was the name of that game, that, uh, that track. 11.33. Nice. All the UI and everything looks really nice in it. It's just the game itself is so framey. Like if they planned on stripping some stuff down but ran out of time. Yeah, maybe you, you may be onto something. Like what if it was just the track? You know, they didn't have all the other stuff going on on the sides and just had the track if the game would run better. I, I would think that it would. First place. Oh, and then that's it. I don't think I'm going to do another one. So, um, I know that I have three minutes left, but I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to cheat you guys out of three minutes. You ready? Ready? We had to get one last, one last air horn in there. Hey, Lepilikos, how you doing, man? Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, seriously, I appreciate it. Thanks for being there for Egg. I hope that everybody that was there thought that was as funny as I did because my God, that was just chef's kiss. Fantastic. Uh, so good. <laughs> Um, and like I said, I, I always appreciate you guys swinging by and hanging out with me. On Monday, we are going to play another PC game. It's not a DOS game. It came out in 2006. Um, and maybe I can give you one more hint. There's a lot of kicking in it. That's, I'll give you that hint. That'll be my final, my final hint on the game. Maybe you'll guess it over the weekend and be like, oh my god, he's going to play this. 
I'm going to find somebody to send y'all off to. I hope you all have a seriously fantastic weekend. Um, You've made my Friday very enjoyable. So with that being said, I am going to raid Simon, who is strangely streaming right now. And I hope y'all, like I said, have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye.